so we find ourselves once again playing around with Pathfinder a little bit. This time, you know, something a little bit different. You've already played through the first part of the beginner box, and even though you didn't get through the second, you know, you given fifteen. Hmm. You were what? Given fifteen, and it'll be here. Okay. Uh, you find yourselves, um, in the town of Guilt. It is a small, sort of out-of-the-way desert town located in the southern part of the Gilded Teeth mountain range. Um, it is a town that is defined by mining industry. Um, generally, the largest export of Gilt is, well, as the name implies, gold. Indeed, the Gilded Teeth mountain range is f brimming full of precious metals, um, largely gold, but also silver and steel, and even little bits of mithril. Um, so even though it is a relatively small town, it is also surprisingly wealthy. <laughs> now, this town's expansive mining operation often digs up ruins, relics of the past, um, relic or sort of ruins of the age of magic and miracles, um, lost, long lost since the apostasy, uh, at this point, god, it's been 800 years ago that the apostasy happened, um, and so it also has a way of, uh, of um, guilt. Also has a way of attracting adventurers and relic seekers and treasure hunters um, and all sorts of the like. The most prominent inn is called the Desert Rose. Um, it is a uh, sort of flat, single-story building made of compacted mud and uh, serving very stiff drinks that oftentimes have a little bit of gold sprinkled across the top, just the tiniest little bit of leaf on it. It is run by a very, very uh, surly, or well, oftentimes surly orc named Cragtooth, an adventurer, in, he was a relic hunter and an adventurer in a previous life now, uh, settled down to more... Um, mundane endeavors, but he does love to hear stories of the adventures that people that pass through the Desert Rose go uh, have gone through. He is more than happy to hand out free drinks to anyone that can show him a new and interesting sort of bit or bobble or weapon or treasure that they found, or uh, anyone that's able to tell a story of an interesting trap they've come across, and as a result, most of the adventurers and relic seekers know that to get on his good side is to have someone who has an uncanny way of finding out about all sorts of new relics and ruins that have been opened um, in the mountains during the mining. So, you know, it, it, it behooves people to be pretty friendly with him, even though he can himself can be quite surly at times. Because if you want to be in the know, you want to talk to him. Your little ragtag band of adventurers and relic hunters um, have made a fairly decent living here. Not just hunting relics, but doing other mundane affairs such as mercenary work. Um, Perhaps some of you have even done some prospecting, um, but right now you find yourself in the Desert Rose, uh, sort of forced to listen to the rambling tale of a drunk bard who swears on his life that he actually can see the ghost of the second moon in the sky, um, and most people just kind of roll their eyes. He is, uh, you know, clearly inebriated far, far beyond what is healthy. Um, and in fact, Cragtooth himself sort of pats him on the back and says, Why don't you go sit down, lad? Have a cup of water. And, uh, drags the bard, bard away. And the inn once again falls to a bit of a lull. It's not, like, silent or anything. There's still people talking, but there's no grandstanding. 
Uh, there's no shouts at the top of their lungs for stories or songs. Um, and you find yourself sort of debating what to do next. Um, you know that uh, Cragtooth has mentioned that he's uh, uh, learned about a pretty big score or something pretty interesting. Um, and he is not... But he has not been prone to just giving up that information completely willingly. What would you like to do? Still trying to figure out how to get the fucking thing to stop playing twice. Still having problem with the echo? Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, it's what's. I think the weirdest part is the fact that I have the headphones plugged in, but it's not in the same lane. Out. Bluetooth, I'm trying to get my fucking JBLs to connect to it, but they're not fucking finding it. What's this? So, it's the, the bartender who's got some information, yes. as usual. Yes, the owner of, he's the owner, proprietor, um, previously an adventurer in another life, uh, uh, he's got, he's the one, uh, that sort of love of adventuring, even though he can't really do it anymore, because he is, a, an older, sort of middle-aged older orc is, uh, uh, he still sort of lusts after, he still has that wanderlust, so he likes to hear tales, he gets a lot of information about the stuff coming in. Okay. But he's just not really... He's not very, uh... He's not necessarily forthcoming, forthcoming with forthcoming it. Forthcoming with this new information that he has. It, sometimes it takes a little bit of flattery with him. Maybe a little bit of gold and coin passing into his hands. Or maybe a promise to, uh, uh bring him something interesting back. That sort of thing. We'll start off with, how about we order a round with a round of beer for everyone mm. in the party, and one extra, you know. The monk drinks. <laughs> yeah. This one does. Alright. Uh, uh, more than read. Oh, we're on the golden schnapps, eh? Jesus, no. What, you don't want golden schnapps? God, no. What do you schnapps want? Fuck me up. Oh, no stops with you then. What do you want? Uh, well, what do I... you recommend? Yeah. Uh, can't go wrong with a good strong beer. Sure. Do you join us for one? He says, uh, uh, I'll join you with a golden schnapp. How much are the golden schnapps? Uh, golden schnapps. <laughs> well even have the money. I don't know how much gold I got on this guy. Uh, not too expensive. Not gonna cost more than a silver piece for a golden schnapp. Let's go ahead. Let's have a round of golden schnapps for the bar and why don't you join us? Ugh. Won't say no to wet the old whistle. Uh, as he uh, sort of disappears behind the bar and uh, uh, he uh, reappears after a couple minutes with several tankards, uh, sort of wooden tankards that have a big frothy head at the top of a uh, nice sort of chilled beer from uh, beneath the bar and uh, he himself carries a smaller glass that is covered with that sort of same golden leaf that you saw people drinking before. Uh, looks like that drink is just called a, a golden schnapp. He sets the beers down in front of you, um, uh, making thoughtfully making sure the handle is facing towards you, and he himself takes the golden schnapp and immediately just downs it. Oof. That's good for the joints. And he sort of stretches his knees. Alright, I'll go ahead, I'll down mine relatively quickly as well. It's a relatively strong, hearty beer that has a faint cinnamony taste to it. That sounds good. Uh, what do you think? Not bad, right? Oh, it'll do you some wonders. He's not just says, brought myself in the uh, cave nearby. Oh, 
Oh, really? Oh, I. Oh, I. I, uh. uh I guess. You get the gold from there, too? Well. There's a nice little flex you got going in there? The gold we can get from a lot of places around here. Uh, he says, just little pieces like that. They are uh, practically give them away a lot of the time. Oh. But yeah, Brewer in a second life. Gracie, why are you barking? She's playing with the stupid toy. But she's, he says, um, anything else I can do for you, Vaughn Gents? Gracie, shut up! Anything else? We got some, some drink and wait for the fourth member of our party. We got some uh we got some pretty good meats on tap uh sale here. You want some nice roasted mutton? Well you can't go wrong with a good mutton along with a good beer. Mm. That's right. Or or if you're looking for something a little bit oh, a little bit more affordable, we do have some uh, locally caught mountain goats roasted. Damn things are like rats on the fucking mountains. Damn mountain goats, they fucking, uh, which you probably would have seen. They're like rats on these mountains. They're everywhere. Does it work? An infestation. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I can't hear you. We can, I can, I can hear you, Beaver. Oh my god. But yeah, he he says, uh, you think the fucking most dangerous thing about going up them mountains is a fucking rock fall? Nah, it's running to them one of those damn goats on a narrow path and having them fucking butt you right off. Yeah, but I'm sure they supply you with plenty of plenty of meat for all for the tavern and all the people. Oh, oh, that yeah. happen often. Can't be too bad to have that many goats around. Well, you're not wrong about that. Uh, but he nods his head. Can't say the meat's the best in the world, but it's certainly filling. You make it right, it's as tender as anything. And trust me, I know how to cook a goat. Oh, I'm sure you do. I bet they're wonderful. Establishment yeah, like so. this, you seem like the kind of person that can turn jerky into a feast. Hmm. Well, I... He sort of says, well, I, I do try to run a, uh, a fine establishment here, you know? Oh, you're being far too modest. Are you kidding me? Especially with this with this wonderful beer you just got us? I mean, I've never tasted anything quite this well. Oh, you're, you're too kind, too kind. I'll tell you what. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll uh, you know what? Those beers are on the house. How about that? For something this extravagant, there's no way I could allow that. Oh no, no, you know, it's no problem. Is he if Lou is being like a shitlord, or is he actually being a genuinely nice person? Uh, it's, it's no problem, no problem at all. I, I'm gonna go get you that. Uh, I'm gonna get you that meat. Shit, how do I how do I pop out my character? Uh, you double click your token. Ah, oh, that's right. All right, but he is gonna he goes and he, uh, you know, the flattery, like I said, kind of works, kind of works. He uh, is gonna make his way to the back, and uh, he returns after a little while with a large, like shank of roasted, uh, basically like an entire leg of a goat, a very sizable mountain goat, um, that's been carefully roasted. It looks like it's covered in uh, like like some sort of clarified butter it's got herbs all over it um he says uh oh, i reckon this shank should serve about three of you four of you puts it on the table uh leaves uh cutlery uh like a carving fork and a carving knife and several tin plates in front of you um sets out a loaf of uh bread likely baked fresh that morning um he uh looks at it with a sense of pride and says just make sure you tell your friends about the desert rose finest food in this well i'd say this 
entire part of the world. Oh, let me tell you, sir. If I was a bard, I would already be singing your praises. Well, he says, we got enough problems with bards. As he looks over at the sort of passed out gnome bard, sort of sleeping at... Uh, sort of dozing lightly beneath a table. Um, you can see every now and then he like scratches his nose as a the tablecloth sort of falls over it and sort of brushes up against it. And uh, Cragtooth just shakes his head. That guy's got problems. I heard him talking crazy, ghosts and moons and all that. I'm sure it's just the drink getting to him. Well, there's all sorts of weird things out in the mountains to be sure, but I ain't never seen ghosts and moons out there. Okay, so once again, I can't blame him for wanting some more of this. And I'm just gonna take another swig. But he says, uh, what brings you to the town anyways? I don't reckon I've seen much of you. Oh, well, you know, we've just been here and there. Traveling along. It's the best thing one can do these days. I wish I was in the same boat. <laughs> My adventuring days is far past me, though, unfortunately. But yeah, he uh, sort of looks wistfully off towards the door and the window and sort of shakes his head. Well, anyways, um, I hope you enjoy your meal. And he sort of goes to... Uh, meet some other people. You can see there's another group of adventurers that comes in, and he says, Well, if it isn't Death's Door, as he sort of rushes forward and pats him on the back, he says, Sit down, sit down, lads. I want to hear about anything, any tales you've got about your latest adventure. As uh, he listens intently, as uh, they tell him of, you know, uh, the, uh, they did not have much of an adventure, unfortunately, this time. They went into a mine and basically had to fight off some sort of strange dog-like demon. Alright. But, uh, I was say, it's about... We, we'll pause briefly for Beaver to restart his... Make sure Beaver's fine and Cody to get here all right uh, in the beautiful desert rose in the town of guilt in the southern gilded mountains you've been uh, you know flattering up old crag tooth the orc the owner of the desert rose um, as you know have learned crag tooth used to be an uh, pretty prolific adventurer um, one that sort of revels in the stories of the uh, relic seekers and the treasure hunters that pass through his small uh, sort of homey tavern. He has a wistful look in his eyes as he uh, said he, I like I said he, he was sort of looking out the window um, remembering a time in his youth when his knees didn't quite you know hurt so bad and uh, whenever his uh, he had a little bit more speed, but he's still got some vigor yet uh, left yet. In fact, he looks like uh, he looks like he could well easily arm wrestle seventy five percent of this table, uh, despite his slightly more advanced years. He, right, <clears throat> uh, Cody. As you are now playing Cragtooth the Magus, you have a real intimate knowledge of the comings and goings of the adventurers and relic seekers throughout the entire mountain range. You hear about all the most promising and interesting discoveries, and uh, any sort of... Uh, relic or ruin that has opened up recently um as the name implies of the gilded mountains there is a lot of mining for gold that happens and it is not very it's it would it's not exactly uncommon for a new ruin or cave or um even that sometimes like a catacomb or a crypt to be found and opened up um, and you have recently heard of one that opened up quite close. 
um, buried deep in the heart of a fairly tall, like, canyon. Um, this group is not the first you've told about it, but they're one of the very few. Uh, maybe t three or four days back, there was a, uh, a duo that were looking for a little bit of adventure and something new. They had a fairly, fairly good reputation. Um, they had done, a, well, from the stories you heard them told, they'd done a fair amount of work, and they did indeed appear to have quite a bit of coin um, that they had gotten from selling the relics that they got from uh, sort of ruin diving. And so you had sent them on their way. They had buttered you, you up quite a bit, um, you know, <laughs> flattered you, um, passed a fair amount of coin into your hand to know if about any sort of interesting rumors that you had heard and you had told them. Um, that being said, it was only maybe a day's journey away. And no one has heard of them for these pa from them for these past few days. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that anything bad has happened, but it can be a bit worrying because they went off on their own, just the two of them. Uh, and so they can make it if they try. They might they might be fine, but it might be nice to have someone go check on them. Perhaps they might need a little bit of help and. They need a little bit of help. There's a good chance for a little bit of coin. And it would be nice to get out of the desert rose. You know, it's nice and all here, but, you know, it's not every day that your knees just ache. Sometimes your soul aches for the open road. Very poetic. It just smells like gas in the air after a while, so, you know, you kind of need some fresh air. Hey. Hey, man, keep... Be careful when you talk about my bar like that. That's fucked up. It ain't the bar, it's the patrons, man. Come on, I'm walking here. Jesus Christ. It ain't really? your fault the kind of people to come in here. I'm gonna finish my tankard. Put it I, person I personally invited every single person into this bar, including you. <laughs> That's my cousin, Doran. My cousin, Frank. My other cousin, other Frank. Everyone here is known to me. I finished drinking one tankard and I put it upside down on the table and start on my second. That's fair. Yep. All right. You start on your second tankard. Now look, look, this is a lovely establishment, all right? We've had some good beers. We've had some good food. The only thing we're missing is a good adventure for us to send us on. What do you say? Sounds good right. to me. I mean, hey, it's hard to go wrong with a good adventure. Um, So you tell them about this recently potentially discovered and reopened ruin um, located uh, by a mining surveyor team uh, it wasn't actually broken it didn't appear to be broken into um, but uh, they had said that it looked like there was an opening that was a, you were able to get into it um, and so they'd, uh, uh, they themselves were just simple miners, they weren't adventurers, so just pass the word along for someone a bit more qualified to go do it. Um, and so, hey, you know what? That's you. And potentially the other two, but you know, uh, uh, you'll have to go check on them. Um, it's about a, like I said, it's about a day's journey. You've got plenty of supplies. You can leave the uh, Desert Rose to the care of your uh, of Frank. He knows what to do. He can keep the door, the lights on, the doors open, the beer flowing freely, and you can have you know at least one more adventure before you settle down for that great, great orcish journey into the sky at the ripe old age of forty-four. This isn't twenty-six. So you're forty-four now. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm 44. You're so oh no, it says 44 now! 
All right. I don't know Time can be I, so I, cruel. I other Frank over Frank. Is there anything that you would like to do before you head out of town? It is a fairly sizable town if you wanted to get some more rations or perhaps uh, maybe an extra health potion or two that is entirely was, reasonable I was about to ask how much do um oh they cost three gold pieces okay how much money did they pay me while they've been here uh you've got a uh, you've got a, a small amount of coinage you've got at least an i think you've got three or four gold pieces just five gold pieces on you um, okay that's including what they gave me uh yeah Damn, I was trying to cheat it out. Um, this great sword says that I can use it one-handed. You can, but it doesn't. Yes. I don't see anywhere that says like when I say change grip one-handed, I lose the strike option with it. Uh, you are. Uh, you need to use it two-handed. Mm. Uh, your so, your your magus is built around two-handed weapons. Okay, I'm just making sure. Oh, there's uh, like a feat yeah, that you can the, get that lets you use. The first thing is actually because you can chain, you can decide whether you want to do piercing or slashing. Uh, whenever you change, no, 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 on the, well, on when, the great sword, it, it, when you sorry, change yeah. grip, it means you have a free hand to use to pull items, basically. Uh, okay, like uh, if I wanted to, okay, I see. Like if this was five e, I could then grip it one handed and then cast the spell, essentially. Uh, well, you can, you, as a Magus, you, you can do that anyways using two-handed. But, uh, it lets sure. you, like, pull out items and use them. Okay, cool. You can pull out a potion or whatever. Yeah. Interesting. That's, okay, that's why I was wondering that. Alright, so it's probably not worthwhile for me to even worry about getting a sword and shield then, huh? Just as a backup? No. No, okay. your character is built around two-handed. Using a two hand, okay. it your um, uh, like your focus, like your thunderous smite, your focus spell is built around, or thunderous strike is used, uh, around a two, making a melee strike with a two handed weapon and stuff like that. Okay, and I can do that once per day. Uh, you can do that once per encounter, basically. Okay. Because it's a focus spell, you spend the focus point, and then you can spend ten Conflux minutes spells. refocusing. Yes. Uh, Conflux oh. is what they call focus, the focus spells for Magus. Um, but yeah, okay. I, w I will explain that whenever you get to it. Because uh, your Conflux spell is Im important because whenever you use it, it automatically recharges your spell strike. Instead of just having to use an action to do it. Okay. I, I'm trying to read through everything and... Good, Magus is co understand. is complicated. It's a more complicated class. It, it's an advanced class for a reason. Okay. All right. Uh, but like I said, but, uh, if, I would use my gold to at least buy another elixir of life miner. Okay. Uh, it says they're worth three gold pieces. So. Yeah, yeah. You should be able to get. Uh, you should pretty easily be able to get one if you want to you can add it to your inventory you just hit the hourglass or actually you can probably just hit plus one on the quantity and take off the gold yep i did just that yep so then you've got a nice nice healing potion uh gives you a nice 1d6 hit points mm -hmm. all right uh you know all the people around town. You go to a local general sundry shop and, you know, you've done some business with them before, so they're more than happy to sell you a health potion. Uh, one of them's sort of joking, What, Cragtooth? You going out adventuring again? Yeah, what of it? Oh, well, don't go getting yourself hurt too badly. I'd hate for the Desert Rose to have to lose its finest bartender. I, it'll be fine for a few days. Hmm, I hope so. Frank is pours a little bit too much head on the beers. Good yeah, luck. That's what other. That's what other Frank The worst. For. Good luck, crack too. <laughs> the worst. I will finish my tankard and I will set it on top of the first one and continue building my tower by starting a third. <laughs> All right. Uh, but You've already left. Get your supplies. I'm, <laughs> sitting, I'm sitting on the table because I'm building a tower of tankards. So. 
Well, you get your supplies and you head out, uh, leaving uh, guilt behind you. You make your way through the deserts. It's fairly easy, uh, a fairly easy trek. Um, the actual uh, weather is warm, but not over, like oppressively hot. It the nights are cold, but not frigidly, bitterly cold. Um, so after a day, you find yourself descending. Uh, into a deep ravine, uh, the sides slowly rising up until they tower, you know, 50, uh, 60 feet above you as you make your way along this sort of rock and sand path that cuts through the redstone mountains like a ribbon. Um, go ahead and activate. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, shit. I didn't get any desert music. The tragedy. Oh no. The M N N M N M. Uh, that's. Uh, Cragtooth, I think those two you sent before us doesn't look like they they had a good time. Alas, you uh, as you descend deeper into the heart of the canyon itself, um, you see rounding a bend, a cart, its supplies strewn about, um, heavily damaged, tossed almost to one side, two bodies in uh, sort of old congeal, lay in pools of old congealed brown blood, um, their uh, forms collapsed it seems with a couple of deep gashes across them as well as several arrows in each oh. body. I don't know, it looks like they had a great time, just not the best time. That's true. Freeze frame! Uh, what is everybody doing for their exploration? I will play Pathfinder 2, Electric Boogaloo, on the, on the pretense that Colin shouts freeze frame more frequently. I do like freeze frame. Freeze frame! I'm ready for the freeze frame. Scratch record, you're probably wondering how I got here. Yeah, I was waiting on that too. Um, I but, uh, am. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna going to. At the uh, cart. I'm going to see if. Um, and the stuff they were bringing. I'm going to see how recent this is. Okay, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I was gonna, I was gonna check the uh, the wounds to see how recent they died or how recently they died. So you're gonna be doing some investigating. Sure. Yeah. Cool. Uh, what are Amiri and Sajan doing? I look down yeah, awkwardly. I, I, I was checking the cart. I look down awkwardly okay. at the I'm tanker in my hand there. and realize I brought it with me. I go, whoops, and I just throw it off into the brush. Alright, you're all investigating cart. What hey, you, you don't want to do that. I want to, actually, I want to move up here. Like, can I, it, so, just to confirm, this is a ledge, this yep. is a wall, right? Yep. yep. Can I, like, can I walk up to the wall next to this dagger and kind of, like, peek around? Sure. I'll, I'll keep watch, because I'm drunk. Stumble too far, you might fall over. I will fall. I will catch myself. Okay. Great, but then who will catch the you that's catching you? Me, obviously. All right. Uh... I forget how to use this character sheet. Would that be? It's. Is it called? Per... Yeah, it is perception. It's perception. Right? Yeah. You're doing perception. Uh, everybody else is basically doing some sort of recall knowledge. How, how do I roll stuff? I don't remember. I, I, I have the drop down of the skills. I mean, uh, you hit the perception check, but yeah. Well, yeah. I'm confused. I'm digging around. It percep Connor, perception isn't a skill, remember? It's listed. Oh. No, it's not a it's skill. Under, I think attributes. It's, it's uh, just on. I'll, all I know is like the how it looks on your page. I don't know how it looks on whatever pop out where you've got. No, if you've got that like big old bar, hang on. If you got that big old bar, 
that has like all the skills and saves and all that shit, it's under attributes. Under attributes. So it'll be initiative oh, yeah. perception and then perception next to that. Okay, yeah. Okay, so oh, okay. The yeah. Okay, it's the word initiative that fucking throws me. I got it. Okay. Well, that's because the initiative one. Well, you don't. Change. I don't think you want that. One. No, I know. It's. I was. I was thinking like, why does this say initiative? Because I'm looking for a skill. Because I'm thinking of fifth edition. I'm sorry. Oh, so, cool. am I rolling for that, Colin, or no? That's a secret roll. Oh, that's right. We have secret rolls. Okay. Um, how do I do that? Okay, so you... I think for that you're gonna have to. Click do I just on click your roll? Sheet? If you click roll, it should have it's... the option to make it. It'll, There's it'll, like, oh, it'll prompt me. Blind GM roll. Oh, there it is. Is what you want. No, that, that, that's a public one. You made it I, I want to do this right. Give me a second. Oh, it's I click oh, the I eye. That's right. I click the eyeball. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Sorry, uh, it's it, been a while. If you actually do the one that's on the uh, bar that you get, uh -huh. you pop up a window, and then there's roll mode, and you can tell it private GM roll. Okay, I'm not... I, I don't quite understand how to do that. Okay, so go to go to a attribute. Here, here, here. This will be a lot fucking easier. Are you just gonna share your screen? Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I like. I for, forgive me. Okay, I so feel like I'm at a bass concert, man. I know, but okay. So close that right now, real quick. Close this. Wait. What are you trying? What are you trying to do, Connor? I'm just trying to like uh, do the thing that Lou was saying. You're trying to roll perception. Yes. Hit the eye yeah. where you see where it says perception. Right here. Yeah. yeah, hit die. Yeah. You okay. can do that too, but I was just going to show him how to do it through the... Uh... Yeah, that that's what I just did, but Lou is saying something that sounds more familiar. What were you saying, Lou? So, uh, clo close down the character sheet. Uh, okay, that's going to kill the stream. Oh, okay, then, then I need... Because, uh, click uh, on your token. Yeah, click on your token, go to attributes. Top, go to attributes. Okay. And then select the one that says perception. Just perception. That's going to pop up a window that says perception check and show you all your modifiers and everything. And then at the bottom, there's role mode. Okay, am I retarded because I don't see attributes? I see character, actions, inventory. Oh, wait, did, did you click on your token? Yeah. All right, and you, it says strikes? I see I see actions. Strike, so you don't have... Am I using, like, a different version? Is it's, that what's it's up? Just, yeah, just Perfect. stream your screen, Connor. I was trying to do that. Connor, look. You see where in the corner it says strikes? No, close the character, close the character, so close sheet. character sheet. See how it says strikes and in the corner the here? Oh, fuck me. I'm strikes, sorry, actions, sorry. effects. Go to attributes. Okay. Then perception. That's going to yeah. pop up this window. And then yeah. at the bottom you would... have roll mode. Okay, I'm tracking now. I'm sorry. Private GM roll. I was thinking too that much. Way... That, that'll let you do it for all the skills and everything as well. Your saves, I believe. Yep. Okay. Anything anything that rolls will pull up that window. I'm tracking. Sorry. All right. So you're looking at the cart. You're looking <laughs> at the saying. parties. Uh, what is Cragtooth looking at? Uh, you can see there are uh, there is also a dagger that is up here as well. If I'm close enough, can I look at that and I, keep watch or no? No, you. Everybody does one exploration action. One thing at a time. Yep. Yeah. Sorry about that. Head hurt. No, no, that's... All right. Uh, what are you? Uh, uh, would you like to? Uh, what What is Cragtooth looking at? I got one person looking at the cart. One person looking at the bodies. Uh, you can look at your surroundings. You can look at this dagger. Cragtooth was trying to uh, survey the, the scene itself to try to see like how okay. long ago this was. Looking at the general surroundings. All right. Uh, I want Fumbus to give okay. me a... Uh... Oh, I think Cody... Because I don't know if Cody was gone. Cody, you were just checking the general surroundings to see, like, how I was, long ago. I was specifically yeah. trying to find out about how long ago this took. I guess the main thing, I guess I should have said when I said that, I'm also looking for, like, footprints that are, like, leaving the scene All to right. see how fresh it is. Fumbus. Is that what you were looking for? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Fumbus, so you're I looking had, at I the bodies. Give me a medicine, a recall knowledge medicine check, which is just a medicine check for you. 
So is that? Well, that's that's Fumbus. You're Cracktooth. Fumbus. Fumbus. <laughs> what a name! I love. It. Is Fumbus? Cool. Well, whenever I go over him, he's Fumbus, so he's fucking Fumbus. <laughs> Your name is Toby. So. What do you want me to do? I want you to give me a perception check. I'm trying to go one at a time, though, because I can't do it all, everybody at the same time. It sort of goes in just, oh, like, a general order. But I guess Beaver's not here, so... How do I do a perception from uh, here again? Oh, boy. All right, so click on your token. <laughs> don't, yep. don't double-click, just click on it so you have the bar. Yep, I have the bar. Go to attributes. Attributes, perception. I see Perception, it. and then do a private GM roll. That's right, private GM and a roll. Or maybe it's... Nope, blind? sorry. It's, no, it is a blind GM roll. Blind GM. I, I mean, I can, I, I can see what you rolled, so. Well, I think well, everyone was able to see. Yeah, yeah I, everyone was. I was able to see my private roll. Okay. But I okay, rolled then, now my private roll. There you go. Okay, so right. blind means that only the GM can see it. Yes. Private means you and the GM can see. It. I, okay. I, yeah. Yeah. I, I should be the only one to see it, so. Okay. Well, there's my um my private roll for you. Okay. My private parts, my personal square. You, uh... Oh, I don't also, like that. Also, look at my fucking pot roast, dude. Holy you shit. You just kind of generally survey the area to see, uh, perhaps get a, a gauge of when this happens. Um, just sort of blood is quite, uh, congealed. Um, there's, uh, no footprints really to be seen except your own, but... Uh, it's quite windy and it's quite sandy, so there's a good chance that uh, that it's been long enough that the sand has been sort of blown over. Um, probably at least uh, maybe a couple days. The okay. uh, you do see off to the northern side there is a dagger that is sort of wickedly curved. Um, it is of a pretty pretty good make um and it has what appears to be like a uh, sort of inscriptions on it um that look like little spider webs oh no it's gonna take so, um, the from temple what, from what i understand i sent these two guys off yeah yes that uh, doesn't look like anything they would have had on them it does not seem to be a fumbus Give me a medicine check, or Beaver, give me a medicine check. <laughs> Come on, Fumbus. Beaver, are you here? Are you here, Beaver? Beaver, are you okay? Beaver, are you, okay? Beaver, <laughs> Beaver, are you queer? Beaver, do you have beer? Turn on your All right. camera, coward Connor. Hey, Beaver didn't answer. I'm He's sick. no longer queer. I can't believe it. I can't believe, I can't believe Beaver's dead. Uh, I thought you were shirtless at first. Give... <laughs> All right, well, looking at the cart, uh, give me a crafting check. Secret crafting check. Crafting. Yeah. Just, just, uh... Just the guy, who, just the person... Just Sajin? Yeah. His and name is Monk. <laughs> you look should at we, this Should and... we default to private roles? I mean... Uh, to, to... I'm sorry. That, um, you don't have secret... to, but... Okay. Uh... You look oh, at yeah. it... Awesome. And toss and jump around looking through the cart. Uh, you sort of toss it. It doesn't look like anything. Like there's some things that might be fairly valuable. Uh, you come across another health potion in here. Um, there's some that. things that uh, could be valuable that weren't taken. And whenever you look at the cart itself, it looks like. It was fairly precisely disabled. This is not like something just brought a hammer down on it willy-nilly. Um, it looks like it had the axle uh, pretty pretty deftly cut. Um, it looks like it had like a, something driven through it. Um, perhaps a chisel, perhaps a very large axe of some sort. Um, but it was very deftly and precisely taken care of. It was not sloppily done. Like a brake line cut? Yes. Okay. Uh, so whoever disabled this was not a... W was clearly fucking... So does that sound more like it was sabotaged before it got here than... It doesn't seem like it would have been sabotaged before you got here be because it probably would have fallen apart on the road. Um, the way it was. But, 
Uh, as you're sort of looking over this, uh, I want everyone to go ahead and roll. Beaver, are you here initiative. yet? Initiative. What happened to Beaver? You know, he got a laptop. You'd think he'd bring it with him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, as slowly climbing from the uh, climbing down the walls, you see these strange looking iridescent beetles um, that are making their way down the walls on two sides and uh, you see all of a sudden the bodies start to twitch and move as several of these beetles actually crawl out of the bodies. Ugh. Uh, is this a private hit... or public role? Uh, it's, 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 it's beetle? public. Just perception. Yep. Okay. Uh, and they Woo! already rolled their... Uh, oh, yeah! The first two initiative rolls of Pathfinder. The Let's go! Ones. Flash come on, beetles. Connor, roll a one. Um, okay, so... oh, fuck oh, you. come on, Connor, you're not part of the cool group. And the what? flesh beetles. That wasn't me, I didn't roll that. Oh, beaver! I'm a mirror. Yeah. Me! Okay, All so right. it's initiative perception under it's attributes, it. right? Yeah, attributes, yes. initiative perception. Okay, and yes, uh, but there's and other that. there's other ways the initiative can be other skills, but most sure. of the time it's going to be perception. Hey, 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 yeah, it's defaulted to perception. I'm a quick bitch today. Uh, yeah. But it's actually really cool because you can change it to any other skill. Yes, indeed. Amir saw indeed. beetles and immediately sobered up. Indeed, these flash beetles rolled stealth because uh, they were being stealthy about it and. Amiri's perception check was hot trash. All right, uh, they uh, crawl forth from the bottom uh, and everything. And uh, Beaver, I'll tell you what your uh, exploration discovered afterwards. But you weren't here whenever we were going through it, yeah. so yeah, uh, it goes. You were neither here nor queer nor with beer. Uh, uh, but it's a very simple Dude, encounter. It's just I one really... of those things that's uh. You know, it was meant. It's meant to be. Uh, once again, like I said, uh, another introductory yeah, fight. Thing. So, uh, it goes to Amiri. Yeah, I couldn't find a fucking bottle opener. I was actually getting pissed off. How big are these beetles? Uh, the beetles themselves are, you know, they're fairly sizable. Maybe the size of a large dog, or a well, probably a medium-sized dog. But they're not. They're small. But they're. they're I mean, I mean they're big here. beetles. It looks like they're the size of a goblin. They are. Which is terrifying. <laughs> they are the size of a goblin because they're both small. Oh, damn. Um, okay. And you said these are flash beetles. They're do I recognize that? Uh, you would do a re you'd have to recall knowledge. I'm going to do that. All right. It is recall knowledge nature. So nature. That's under skill. It's a skill. Yes. And that is also a secret role. Okay, I don't see recall knowledge. I see nature. No, though. just nature. Recall knowledge okay, re is recall not what it's called. It's just the action, yeah. And you, okay, then okay, nature sorry. is a skill. You said that's a private role? Yep. Because it's possible that if you do really terribly, you could, like, learn something literally that is bad. Hang on. I, because of what I just did, I just want to make sure... I saw the room. You said, you, well, I also saw it. Was that intentional? No, no, no. no you can't see okay, it. No, yeah. you're not supposed uh, to. You're supposed okay. To like, yeah. Um, uh, okay, yeah, so, blind, so not, not private roll, blind roll. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. blind roll means only yeah. the GM sees it. Private roll means you and the GM sees it. Do you want me to re-roll that, Colin? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you keep I, I, that one. That's fine. I, I'm going to roll it just so I want to make sure I do it right. So blind GM. Okay, yep. Okay. There yep, and I didn't now, see that. Now you should not be able to see that. Yep, no, it's it's just question marks. All right. Uh you know, uh the you've encountered these are fairly common desert animals, insects, and you know that they are called flash beetles and they're called that because they have the ability to set off a blindingly bright flash of light capable of blinding uh people that are close to them, located around them. Um, and sort of dazzling them with their, and like, causing them to be blinded and dazzled. Do I know it triggers that? Uh, they, they can do it. Uh, they do? Okay, they do so it, it's yep. not like, okay. Um, I, so I recalled knowledge, can I announce that? Uh, yeah. 
Okay, I'll I'll say, hey, these are flash beetles. Be careful. Uh, they can blind you. I, I'll even say you rolled so well, uh, and you know that when they do this, uh, usually it's uh, they have to like wait for a while to do it again. Uh, usually, like a day. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll I'll relay that as well. It's kind of like a uh, it's a one time. You thing. rolled a very good uh, nature check. Nice. Um, okay, forgive me. That was one of my three actions? That was one of your three actions was to recall the knowledge. Dude, Pathfinder's so cool. <laughs> Fuck. Um, I'm gonna move up here to help my New Yorkian friend. One. Oops. No, Which one? One. one. Ever, I say remember, two. uh, double, mm. double diagonals. Every oh, other diagonal, yeah. Okay, so I was here. Yep. So I here, can I just I can just measure it, right? Yeah, you can just measure it. Okay. And it's twenty five feet in this, I think. Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, twenty five. Yeah, okay, so I, I'm gonna move over here next to that body. Um. So that was two actions, right? Yep. You moved. And you now, recalled knowledge. If I take a third action attack, is it? Is it? Uh, mitigated, or is that only if you attack in succession? Only if you it's only if you attack in succession. in succession. God, this game is awesome. Okay, I'm sorry. I like every time I play Pathfinder, it just makes me want to not play Fifth. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of your press investigation. If you're stuff. attacking, press yeah. T to oh, target okay. them, T. and then use your attack. And then use your attack. Yep. T. There we go. And then I just click it. Right. It's not gonna. Just is, just is that your public? Attack from your strikes. Uh, that it should roll it automatically. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yep. Why did you? Why did you use a javelin? Isn't that supposed to be blind as well? I did not mean to do a javelin. The the attacks don't have to be blind. Oh. Okay. I thought they had to be blind too. There you go. The attack Sorry, rolls. The, the attack rolls don't have to be blind because you'll either either see that you hit them or you don't. Even well, if I, I mostly was just a thing of keeping the armor class hidden, I thought. Yeah. I, I vaguely recall us doing it hidden last time. No, you don't have to worry about that. Okay. So I got a uh, 20 to hit, and now I'm going to click damage, because that says hit. Yeah. And I got a 6. All right. Uh, that cleaves through the flash beetle as it goes down. Like I said, very simple, very simple fight. And it doesn't burst. It does when not burst it whenever it's down? killed. Yep. Okay, good to know. I will, this. I will end my turn and make a phone call. So I will have my headset off. It goes to Fumbus. Fumbus. Mm. He's apparently your Fumbus now. Oh, I'm always gonna be scared. Don't worry. That's just what they called me in Goblin College. I was not aware you had colleges. It, it, it's Sorry, kind of, uh, I've named you. I've named you it, Bridges. Kind of All right. All right. I'm gonna dog slice this one ahead of me. Yeah. Fuck that flash beetle. I hit. Ooh, buddy. For five damage. Not enough to kill it though. You piece of shit. <laughs> Well, uh, hit him again, stinky. Fuck it. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stomp on it. I'm gonna kick it. Give the old kick then. I kicked it. All right. Oh. Two damage. Fuck All right. you, punted Fuck across you. the fucking thing. That's enough to kill it. As you send it flying yeah, off, you, you like punt it into the fucking cart. The pfft, just splatters. Excuse me, Fuck but you. do you mind? I'm in this cart. You gonna use it again? Uh, probably not. Nope. Yeah, I'm gonna move there. No, uh, that's my turn. All right. Uh, it is gonna go to the remaining Flash Beetles. Uh, they are going to uh, skitter down. Uh, one's gonna rush towards Amiri. Uh, one is gonna move. Well, I guess I'll, I'll resolve because they all go in things. So that's a move. 
then it is going to do uh, uh let's see i'm gonna do a light flash so i need a miri to make a dc 17 fortitude or give me a fortitude save i think you have to roll it for him okay I can, that that's that's fine no he's here he's actually he's all right back. uh it's oh, no, his headphones off so no he's not he's not here Okay, well, uh, it flashes uh, as uh, you can see. It's sort of luminescent, uh, like the luminescent light uh, just bursts forth from it. Um, actually, it is. Double check. Okay. Uh, so you are fine. You like bring up your hand and are able to. Uh, uh, basically, just not be affected by it. This one, uh, however, it will then proceed to make an attack against you. Uh, it's going to be a 19 versus armor class against Amiri, which is, you know, a hit. Uh, four. I'm pretty shocked that that didn't hit. For four points of damage. Okay. This one is going to skitter out from the walls to here. Um, he is going to also then proceed to use Light Flash. That's his second action. So I need Cragtooth, mm -hmm. Sajan, and Skazzle to all three make fortitude saves private or public uh it, it, it's fine to be public because you'll either know that it works or it won't all Ooh. right all oh that, that is another one all right uh you unfortunately do not manage to get your hands up in time to uh basically stop it so you are all dazzled Damn. Hit the old... Hit the old scazzle dazzle Fuck. Give him the scazzle dazzle Now, uh, so we're learning about saving throws and conditions. I'm uh, back. When you are dazzled, your eyes are overstimulated. Um, let's see. Uh, My dazzle if, color is better than your dazzle color. That means you have, uh, everything is concealed from you. Essentially, whenever something is concealed, you have to, whenever you attack them, or use something that uses an attack roll, you have to roll a d20. If you roll lower than a 5, your attack misses. Huh. All right. Is this a separate roll or part of the attack? Is it's a separate roll. It's before the roll. Okay. It's before I, the I, you basically I'm, just have a chance to miss. I'm yes. terribly right. sorry. Can you repeat that, please? Uh, they are dazzled. Uh-huh. Currently... Uh, that means everything. It, well, since all of their, the only precise sense that they have is sight because they're level one. Um, that means whenever they make an attack roll, they have to roll a d20, or whenever they attack, they have to roll a d20. If they roll lower than a five, they com they whiff. No matter what they roll, the attack just completely misses. They don't even hit them because they are basically blinded. So it, it's basically two attempts to hit, but one of them is the blind. Yes, is that... one okay. is overcoming the blind, and one is actually rolling to hit. Okay. Um, and even if even if you roll a d20, you do expend your stuff. So if you cast a spell, you expend the spell. It just flies. You just fly, fling it wildly, essentially. Um, but that's sort of how dazzle works. And the flash, the flash beetle will use its last action to attack Cragtooth. Help if I, uh... Um, okay. No, I'll, I'll ask him. Uh, it's gonna miss. Only got a 12. Yeah. Alright. Okay. It goes to Sajan, who is dazzled. Alright, so I guess, uh, it, it's called stride or whatever, and it's not move, right? Yes. But, so that's one of my actions, is just moving. Yep. Yeah. Then I will... Second action, I will activate Tiger Stats. Put them in the dick. 
And for my third action, we will try to Tiger Claw it. All right. I wonder if this will do... I don't... Yeah, I wonder if it'll, uh... No, I didn't yeah. do the first D20. Okay. Well, do you want to count like it matters, I miss anyway, but just for the sake of it. Damn. Oh, of course! You got, did, you, got your, you got your rolls back. You got your rolls back. We could say, we could say the first way. roll was the dazzle roll, and the second roll was your attack roll. Uh, if it, oh uh, if that were the case, he would he would have rolled a four because it's a flat roll, so he would have missed anyways. Oh, whoops. You're right. F. All right. Unfortunately, um, you sort of, I, uh, you stumble forward. You can like hear it. You know its general direction, but you you're still blinded as you just rush forward and you swing at it. But all you find is you hit the sand. I hit my palms stretched like like tiger pay. Tiger claws and just digging at the sand. Lou, yep. I have a question. Yeah. Yep. What did Reed do to you? You oh, were you were clearly having more right. fun with it, this guy already. It goes to What's Crag Tooth. You're What's also dazzled. And, and this dazzle lasts for one minute. Okay. It's still six seconds a round, right? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, turn. Okay. Don't want to do that then. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do then, I'm gonna attempt to at least. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that. No, I don't want to do that. I'm going to try to strike him first with my great sword. That's so I'm gonna fair. D twenty. D twenty. Yep, just a flat. Yeah. All right, so you're good to go. All right, and then let's try to hit him with the great sword. I hit. I think that hits. Do damage. Ten uh, damage. That's a lot of damage. That's enough. As to, even though you can barely see it, the sword arches out and you just pierce straight through it. As uh, uh, you lift it up and send it flying to the side. And then I'm gonna start moving with my second option. To now, I have a question for you. Yeah. Uh, medium armor says it gives me a minus five speed, but when I take on and take off the armor, my speed on my main page doesn't change. Should I have 20 or 25 foot speed? I'd have to look into it. I, I'm not worried about it right now, though. Then I'm going to move 25 feet, feet to behind this beetle. So now this beetle is flat-footed, correct? Uh, yes. So when I strike to hit it, will it automatically factor in flat-footed? Uh, it will. Okay, well, I'm going to strike with my but third you, action. You, uh, uh, yeah. You also still have to roll the d20 to see if you hit, because you're dazzled. Oh, that's period. right. Yeah. That's right. Seven. Good to go. So it's anything so, above five? Uh, five or higher. It says in here I can add a circumstance bonus, but I think since she said it's um, a factor uh, in, I'll just roll it, it and see. It automatically factors it in. Uh, no, it no, see how, see how, it in. Yeah, it does. See how it says target flash beetle AC 16 down to 14? That, that's factoring in the fact that it's flat-footed flanked. We, I didn't see it, so... Yeah, we don't see that. Oh, it, yeah, trust, me, that. trust me, it does. Because uh, it, okay, cool. it, it doesn't add two to your roll, it takes two off of its armor class. Potentially adding two to your roll, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but this but that's not how, that, but yeah, th that's not how it calculates it. So whenever you look at your right, roll, right, right. it doesn't show a plus two. Gotcha. That, that's what we see. Yeah, but I, it, trust me, it it uh does calculate it in because I can see it right now. Okay, cool. All right. Well, I rolled pretty low, and that will be my turn. That's all three of my actions. All right. Cool. Are we talking about the, the penalty. Uh, yeah, for, for flanking, it, it does automatically inc oh. incorporate it, but it shows it on the armor class whenever it rolls it up for me. Oh, okay. Uh, it goes to Amiri, the one who wasn't blinded. Okay, I have two questions. Yeah. One, if I meet, this is a very silly question, but I want to ask it because it's a new system. If you look at the actions page on the character sheet, it yep. lists a large quantity of actions. Yes, that's just these... showing a bunch of the. That's just a bunch of the. Uh, actions stuff you can do skill actions and things like that. Correct. Is it if I have one, I can do it? The reason I ask that uh, is yes, if leaves that involve flight, which I don't have a fly speed. Uh, no, you're fine. If you okay. uh can do it, generally. It's on there, but it doesn't... Basically, maneuver and flight, 
the requirement is you have a fly speed, so it's just in there. But the thing is, you have it because you're trained in acrobatics. Okay, so in the event that I did have a fly speed, yes. it would be... Useful. It shows all the stuff that you can do, and Got that it. includes Got things that, it, like, trained skills. Okay. Um, my other question is, is this, like... <sighs> These are beetles. Yes. Can I attempt to disarm a beetle? Uh, they do not have any weapons. Okay, it, that... I wasn't sure about that, because uh, it says just requirements as a hand yeah. free, and the target but, can't be larger yeah. than that. Yeah, and you try to knock something out the creature's grasp, but grasp. there is nothing okay, in okay, its okay. grasp. Okay, got it. I was thinking if I could, like... If it was wielding a sword with its... With its... <laughs> with its, its, its style. <laughs> I, I, was, I was more thinking about, like, cutting off the, the abdomen. Well, that's not disarming. It kind of is. fucking mutilating it. This disabdomening it. Uh, yeah, it is not wielding a, anything in its hands <laughs> to, uh... Try to just... Cody, push. It was funny, shut up. Okay, I'm, I, I'm gonna attack the thing. I gotta hit T. There we go. And you, you said this is a public roll, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. 20. 20, that'll hit. I say with a two-handed weapon, you should be pretty much killing it all the time. Yep, that's yep. enough to finish that off. I'm good at the one thing. All right. Uh, the final flash beetle goes down um, as uh, you cleave with your mighty sword straight through it as it just is completely severed in two. Hey, see? I cut off its abdomen. Now it can't use it anymore. That's true. Um... <laughs> Slowly, after a, a, a couple moments, uh, Sajan, uh, Skazzle, Cragtooth, the dazzle sort of, the, the lights just sort of disappear from your eyeballs um, as you're able to finally see normally. Um, like I said, uh, Skazzle. Fine. Can she see me? Uh, Shit. And Tiger Stance ends because it lasts through the encounter. All right. Now that you're here, Beaver. Uh, you can do your exploration action that we didn't get to. Uh, go ahead and give me a uh, medicine check because you were looking at the bodies. Yeah. Oh, wow. Holy shit. That's you... red. I'm assuming it's bad. Oh, no. That's, no, your, it, that's it, your color. Yeah, you're, you're oh. red. Um, you can see that these, even though you were just attacked by flash beetles, the cuts on these guys are way too clean. Um, they were made by a blade, and these arrows are very well crafted, so they weren't just mere, like, bandits or, uh, uh, desert nomads. These aren't brigands that kill these guys. Some of one of these guys is dead. Can I make, like, a crafting check on the arrows? Sure. This certain maker model. Yeah. <laughs> Myth and Wesson designed this arrow together. <laughs> uh, Shit. Shit. Smith and Wesson. You can't really discern <laughs> a particular <laughs> like style or how if uh exactly who did this. You just know they're very well made. It can't be too well made if they're not putting their maker's mark on each individual arrow shaft. That's that's weak shit. Or um, maybe they're extremely well made, but they don't want you to know that they did it. Say assassins. Hmm. Dun 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 dun. All right. <laughs> With its message. Oh no! The assassins <laughs> guild are now weapons manufacturer. Uh, you kind of clear your eyes. Um, you are able to see. Uh, that there is indeed a cliff, uh, maybe ten feet down. Like I said, this was this was made for basically to be a replacement for the first one since you've already run it. Um, but uh, this is the this map looks very similar now that I see it. <laughs> this is this is very similar. Um, this is the pause freeze frame <laughs> skill checks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna giggle every time. Um, there's. An athletics check to get down. 
Um, much the same. Uh, 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 there are. Actually, yeah. I've got a grappling hook. Wait, Before I just... we even do that, can I collect this dagger? Yeah, yeah. Um, I was actually. I was also going to ask. We looked at the bodies. Did we look at the cart? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. I missed that then. Sorry. It was. It will remember. It was had been precisely disabled. It hadn't been just no, no, no. smashed. I meant, I meant. I meant the stuff in the cart. Is there? Uh, any... I got, yes. I got a life. Got a uh, life potion. They, they saw otherwise. Okay. Okay. I'm they would. It clearly wasn't robbers because there's some valuable stuff that could have been taken that was not. Mm. What were the two dudes' name again? Uh one was named. Babu and Frick. Yeah, Babu and Frick. Uh, <laughs> I fucking hate you. Hey! God. But, uh, forgive me, Babu. Forgive me, Frick. Nah, that's not you their mean... names. No, that's uh, totally their name. One, one was uh, named was now. Uh, I just do like a quick pass and it's like, we'll have to, we're gonna come back and give you a proper burial. Don't uh, worry. They were named we need to find out what's going here first. Perry and Delilah. I'm gonna retrieve the arrows since they're so nicely made. Okay. If there are any that are unbroken or clean, might as well take them with us. Uh, yeah. There. Uh, you are able to. I can roll for that if you want. Never I... use the generic brand. You, you are, are able to retrieve two head. arrows. Two arrows. I, will... wow. uh, I, I said I was picking up this dagger yes. here since you said it was a really nicely. It is, it made is a nicely made dagger. Um, probably worth. A fair amount of coin, actually. Um, let me, uh, my apologies, because this is a terrible time to ask this, but how do I add things to my inventory? Uh, you're adding arrows? Uh, you basically hit the hourglass, and then it'll bring up the compendium browser, and then you just drag it into your thing. So I just dragged a dagger to Cody's, and I'm going to slightly alter it so it's... Wicked. Uh, so it's got an actual correct price designation. On it. Yeah. I am not seeing an hourglass. Hold on. My apologies. Mag magnifying glass. He keeps calling it an hourglass. Yeah, I, I mean a magnifying glass. I call it out. I keep calling it hourglass. Yeah, I, I I know what you mean, Colin. He may not, but I do. I I, I didn't know what he meant either. I was like, what the fuck is this dude talking about? All right. So anyway, I've got a grappling hook. So I'd like to find a good place to anchor it, step it, step it into to make sure it's secure, and then start to scale down this cliff. All right, you've okay. got some okay. very like there's like some trees that are up on the cliffs, um, you know, maybe 30, 40 feet up, and you've got plenty of rope, and you're able to, uh, if uh, you're gonna uh, throw it up there, give me an, give me a just a basic athletics check just to to a very simple athletics check to make to he heft it up that high all right uh you see it la uh, it flies up and you pull it and you do feel it latch on to one of the trunks above you on the trees and you're able to throw the rope down uh you all pull right, it a couple it was... times feels pretty secure Sad, so john's over here going throwing rope <laughs> <laughs> all right then i'm going to just rappel down all right, uh, that makes it an easy or a pretty easy athletics check to descend. Uh, go ahead and give me a athletics check, another athletics check for descending. All right, uh, you pretty easily make it down to the bottom, uh, rappelling down, holding on to the rope. Uh, so you make it down. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess I'll go next. See if your actions change. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> and Jesus Christ. remember, you can also, if someone's not particularly yeah, good at, at athletics, you can try to aid them. Do you oh. need? Do you need help, short stack? Okay, this must not have. Uh, nah, I'm good. It's just like goblin gym class. All right, you e easily swing yeah, down with a flourish, um, as you say that. Uh, very easily landing at the bottom. I didn't know goblins had gym class. Now I just need to tuck my goblin erection up. And, and, uh, this this is a role that does not have to be secret. This is a role that doesn't have to be secret because you'll man. either either see that you passed or you don't. Because you'll either fall uh, or you won't. How often did you have to um put your goblin erection up in your goblin sweatpants tug band? 
All right. That's Wait, standard man. practice in Goblet <laughs> High School. <laughs> exactly. See, he gets it. All right, you make it down pretty easily. Uh, uh, I want to... Wait, some sense. I want to do Ladies first. an exploration action to cover our tracks. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Uh, go ahead and... Okay. You go back and uh, you, you generally make a... Sort of cover it over. If anything uh, tries to, to track you, they'll have to make a check against your survival DC. Cool. I like that. That's an... And then I will jump down. Okay. Uh, let me double check what your survival DC is. Skills. It should be skill, survival. It is 13. I got 21 on my athletics. All right. You also quite easily make it down, although not with the same panache that Skazzle did. I'm still kind of drunk. Well, sober up a bit, why don't you? I don't like bugs. All right, uh, you hold on to the rope and descend down. Oh, we got down. some water right over here. So, I'm going to point at the fungus-infested shoreline right here. With the I fucking swan dive. With <laughs> the rope, it is a DC-10 instead of a DC-15. So, Cragtooth, you're up. So it's just an athletics? It's just an athletics. All right. Uh, scurry on down. All right, you pretty easily scurry down with the help of the rope, uh, swinging quite easily as you hit the ground uh, deftly, um, finding yourself at the bottom of the 10-foot cliff. You have to wonder, why would anyone with a cart come this way when there's no road and a sheer cliff? <laughs> Whoever made this map wasn't thinking very hard about that part. No, I, I, I think maybe they, they got baited. I mean, there, there's a reason the cart's not down there. It's up there. They, they got, got baited down this way. Maybe they got they locked. Had to. Uh, I'm going to check these mushrooms for, like... No, I'm just assuming I don't have, like, a vision mod or whatever in this, because I can see, like... All the way over to here. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. There's, I've got everything that would need to be seen, like hidden on that. So uh, okay. I'll reveal stuff as you get there. Okay. Um, you make your way to what appears to be a nice, cool desert pool, guarded uh, within the shade of the canyon. Um, it's uh, has all sorts of life that has sprouted around it mushrooms and small trees, reeds and flowers. Um, the uh, water is... I mean, it looks clean enough. Obviously, there's it's a little bit sandy. Um, oh, sandy. Can't, can't escape that in the desert. Uh, but otherwise, it's pretty nice. Um, what would everybody like to do for their exploration actions while they're in exploration well, first, mode? seeing these mushrooms here, um, I'm going to cast Detect Magic. All right. It's a cantrip. I'm already always, swimming. Always check the mushrooms for magic. Always check the mushrooms, indeed. And in fact, uh, detect magic is a pretty common exploration action. So I'm going to have you detecting magic. I'm going to have... Right, actually this area right here. Yep. I like how this... Oh, never mind. That's the bubble. You're going to be detecting changer. magic. Uh, uh I'm checking... It's gonna be the other mushrooms. Um, Ito is swimming, or uh, technically no. Universe. Ito's covering. Oh. Ito's covering tracks. Um, Mary what is a good dip. Sajan's basic scout. All right, you will get the scout. All right, I like it. Um. He's covering the center of his fish pit. Uh, since uh, Sajan is scouting, that means people have plus one circumstance bonus to initiative rolls. Alright. Detecting magic. As you uh, focus on the pool, uh, you focus on the... Um, uh, just the general area, trying to sense any kind of fluctuations of magic in the air. Any kind of strange uh, sort of luminances, anything like that, you don't sense anything. Um, doesn't seem like anything here is, is magical at all. Um, everything okay. here is just, you know, a, a natural occurrence. Natural pool. It's, it's natural pool. It's uh, some natural 
um, uh, fauna, you know, natural flora, uh, the the great crocodile Amiri swimming through it. I was gonna drink it, but now that it has gamer girl in it, I know I'm gonna Scott consume works. it. Gamer girl bath water. <laughs> Please piss and or fart in the water before I drink it. Thanks. That happened as soon as I landed in it. Thank you. It's a reflex. <laughs> yep. Uh, but but no magic, unfortunately. No season it. Skaz will give me a nature check. Secret nature check. Uh, I, I, did, I did like Detect Magic's animation. It's pretty nice. Detect Magic what? Had an animation. I was like, it's, it's pretty oh, nice. I didn't even see it. Um, ooh, these mushrooms are a hardy and pretty pretty decent desert fare uh the type of thing you can sustain yourself on pretty well um it's able uh, probably enough for uh at least a day's rations for everyone here I'm proud. yeah i'm thinking all these mushrooms we can make some soup boys it can I make, get some of this game and go bath some... water with us mm. make that game a girl bath water uh, but yeah, it's at least a day's worth of rations and do it for these mushrooms. Do it stink. They make a good soup. They can be like for for longer journeys. They can be dried and then reincorp like reincorporated into you know a soup of some sort. So yeah, um, everybody can basically go to their. Uh, I think everybody's got yeah. rations. Yeah, I basically yeah. top off my water and take a big swig and fill it back up. If we right. eat rations, does that heal us? Uh, it does not. It just makes it so you don't suffer Starve the consequences of starving to death. <laughs> okay. Understandable. Have a nice day. All right. Is that is that the subsist action, or is that just like consuming an item? Uh, you would just basically consume. It'd be okay. uh, because subsisting is like you're going out and finding and, food and, and finding stuff it, for yeah, yourself. Yeah. Um, you've already got the food, so you would just basically rest, and you'd be able to eat it and not suffer, you know, starving, basically. Um, it says it says rations seven out of seven, but then it says quantity two. Yeah, I. Th How do we affect the charge? Oh, user, user. Oh, okay, we use it, and then it goes down in charge, not in quantity. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. So you've got uh you got you get some rice. Oh, so so it's like a lo it's like we have two loaves of bread. We can take seven bites out of each. Okay, that's really cool. Sorry. Now, God, the system. So Sajan, you see that there has been a rough barricade that has been erected, um, very kind of crude. Do you want me to, you know? Open. All right, I will say as you approach, sort of, uh, very sort of slowly, perhaps carefully, um, you can see just off in the distance, and I'm gonna go ahead and add everyone to initiative because now you've seen uh. a enemy. They don't seem to have noticed you, um, but oh, it would help if I ended the encounter. Jesus Christ, that head. Uh, what the hell? That man's body is sixty percent head. Uh, they don't seem to have Castle, noticed. Is that you, your cousin? But they are standing, uh, looking over the cliff, uh, as if they're with their hands on their hips, as if they're trying to figure out how to get down it. Um, so it's sort of scratching its head. Um, but it doesn't seem to have noticed you right now. But since there, basically, since there's no surprise rounds, it goes as soon as something pops up, it goes into initiative. And as soon as, like, someone does something where they would be seen, it immediately just starts the combat. Uh, that, but it gives you opportunity, like, if you want to be stealthy, you can roll stealth checks to try to remain unseen. It's kind of hard, considering there's nothing to hide behind here, but the point is, that's kind of how it works. Like, if you wanted to, if there were, like, pillars and stuff up here, you would be able to, like, stealth up behind the pillars on your turns, basically, to get up to him, and he didn't see you, he wouldn't see you, and things like that, but... There's not surprise rounds. Could we gotcha. climb up here? Uh, you can yeah, attempt to. That is a very difficult climb because it is high. Okay. Sajan is gonna, yeah, put, put his 
finger to his mouth. Shh. Does anybody need arrows? Jazzle. How good's your throwing yeah. arm? Not that good. I mean, what's the range on these throwing things? Like, I think it's like 20 feet, 25 feet, 30 feet? Uh, I bet I could. Fuck. It is I bet I could hit him. 20 feet for the yeah, acid flask, 20 feet for the... Uh, with a height advantage, yeah. it would be it would increase it a little bit, but... How do you read Not the 50. range? So, like, my javelin How says range read? increment 30 it, feet. It, has, it goes in range increments. You can have up to six uh -huh. increments. Every time it goes past an increment, it gets a minus two to its attack rolls. So, in the first increment, it's normal. And from if it's th within 30 feet... It's normal. If it's 30 to 60 feet, it's minus 2. If it's 60 to 90 feet, it's minus 4, and so okay. on and so forth. God, I love that. Okay. Wait, so you said how many increments total? Up to 6? Up to 6. So you can throw a fucking javelin? You can throw it a long way. Okay. But you have, you have a... You have a, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a lot of, obviously, I mean, I... downside to doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I, I'll get... Is it Sejan? Sejan. Sejan. I'll get Sajan's attention and I'll make like a, a fist into my palm motion. Like I can charge him. I can also try and climb. Well, I let me. If let I me... got up there, I can throw. I can throw a pretty mean javelin too. Uh, can I make like uh, uh, like some? Going to... Hold on. Here, I'll put my ass against the wall and I'll like I'll I'll get down into the like the, the squat motion before with my hands. I like to throw somebody up. Before anybody acts, can I look and see like try to discern what exactly it is or who exactly it is that I'm looking at over here? Uh yes, you can do a let me see. Let, let me double check. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna get in like the the squat motion to lift somebody up. Uh, young lady, I'm gonna look at you prefer cross or at, ass. Uh, Amiri and just go. I don't speak squat. <laughs> I don't speak jive. Uh, then he's gonna go. Pro I think Sajan. I think Sajan okay. is uh, suggesting we you don't can, steal. You can, if you want to, uh, uh, try to figure out something about it. You can give me a, a recall knowledge nature check. Um, while he's doing that, can we see these holes? Yes. Okay. Did you said recall got, knowledge nature. Uh, yeah, Skazel was doing it. Skazel, this is. You know what? It's got a big head. It's got those wide ears. You're pretty sure it's just a goblin. I look at Skazzle. Oh, am I the Terry? I look at the Skazzle and I look at the goblin and I ask if Skazzle knows that he's the one that's deformed. There's all sorts of different goblins. There's like desert goblins. There's aqua goblins. It looks like a goblin. It's got a little bit of a different skin color, yeah. but you know that's oh, fine. No. It's got a big head. And yeah, you be it. Yeah. I'm just not you're so being goblin racist. Am I racist? You you're being a little goblin racist. I'm feeling a little uncomfortable right now. Not gonna you, lie. Oh, hold on, hold on. Who's more because, of a minority? We are a, now listen here. We are allowed to be a little goblin racist as a treat. Who's the bigger minority? The blue true. goblin or the green goblin? I've never seen a blue goblin in my That's life. It's true. I mean, like... there, there, there are some social hierarchies from, from long-standing... Uh, oh, so it's institutionalized, that's what you're saying? Insti yeah, pre prejudicial institutions, you know, institutionalized <laughs> racism. The longer we're here talking about goblin racism, the longer we're giving them to notice us. He said, I'm, I'm already asking Miri twice now, do you prefer ass or crotch as I go to jump, as I use her hand platform to come up here? I don't know how you would do that backwards, so I'll say crotch. Part of me just wanted you to say you preferred crotch, and then I used that to climb up here. All right, it's uh, a, I will it, I will hold him up. Uh, okay. Your uh, leader if, style. Uh, so you're trying to aid him. Uh, Amir, give me an athletics check. Okay. Uh, Says you're trying to help him hoist him up. Skills. It's under skills. It is. Uh, it can be and blind. It, yeah. Is this blind? Uh, yeah. 
There you go. Okay. What? Why is there a um? Why is there a horseshoe next to my? Look at your top right next to your dialogue. Unlimited. Uh, oh, that's so cool. You're, you're doing cover cool? tracks. All right. Uh, he helps boost you up. Like I said, it's gonna be a pretty difficult climb, but you have a plus one from the aid action. So go ahead and give me an athletic check for the climb. Uh, blind. Uh, this one doesn't have to be because you'll either see that you fail or you don't. Do I need to add a plus one to it? Uh, no, I, I you see how I, it, you now have aid in the corner? Oh, you cool. have the little hand next to you, yeah. Oof. I see, yeah, I rolled pretty poorly. Ugh. Uh, you, uh, uh, go try to climb up and just tumble down. Uh, it's a solid, like, 40 feet of climbing to get oh, over shit. Thing. Okay. Yeah, I didn't realize I was that uh, These walls thought... are, these walls are extremely tall. So, like, each layer, each layer is... 20 feet. roughly 20 feet okay i thought i thought it was only 10 i thought maybe we had a chance okay my bad uh but it's it's a difficult climb and you just sort of tumble down uh you uh, sort of scrape your hands up but amiri catches you on the way down um i'll bridal carry him and set him down I, to work law i have to marry her now oh, that's true i'll buy him don't worry <laughs> Did we just get engaged? Sometimes is gonna point at the goblin again. Punch good. Go. Uh, before we, I'm assuming he's meaning me. Before we do that, because I'm a smart person. You can see by about this time the gob, the little goblin's like taking down a rope and he's like put a stake and he's th throwing the rope down the cliff. Oh, that that's a cliff. Okay, I thought he was at the base of a cliff nope. or the, the bottom. Okay. Nope. Wait, actually, um, should we just let them let them set up? For do us I do I down? see uh, anything? Because th so this this is like two palisades, like a gate, kind of like a door that's kind of ajar, like just a tiny bit ajar. It no, it's uh, it's a barricade. Okay, I just wanted to see like is it's there not, any it's not like a gate or bells, anything. any any trip wire. Uh, not uh, you can roll a perception check. I will do so. It's a secret perception check. Gills. No. Attributes. Perception. Secret. Well. It looks like it's put together like fairly shoddy. Okay. Um, it looks like you don't see any bells. You don't see any trip wires or anything like that. Okay. I'm um, gonna. It looks like a, a stiff breeze could probably blow it over. If I see that, I'm gonna try and like brace it up as I move it, kind of like you're trying to lift up a squeaky door so it doesn't squeak. And then I'll I'll walk it this way so that it opens. All right, uh, you go up against it. Uh, so you're trying to move it instead of like dismantle. Yeah, yeah, like like okay. yeah. I'm just trying to like shift it enough so that we can squeak by. Give me an athletics check. Athletics, and that's public. Yeah, yeah, you'll either see that it works or not. All right, uh, as you uh, lift it up into the air, um, it makes just an awful, horrible screeching sound. As it, uh, you can see, it had small iron anchors in the side of it. Um, as uh, you can see, you managed to completely dislodge it to push it to the side. However, uh, it was noisy. Um, your perception check was very bad. I see. Um, and you did not see that it was actually anchored. Well, that's that then. Uh, as that is, go ahead and roll initiative. I tried, My guys. God. Jig is up. Uh, you have a plus one bonus to this initiative because you are everyone or just everyone. Uh, um... Uh, cause Sajan was scouting. So I got a 10. Six. I just put... I rolled one better. So, uh, it's got the circumstance thing there. You just put one you just put plus. Add yeah, it. you just put one yeah. add. Oh, circumstance bonus. Yeah, when you go to roll it. Wait, how? So, you oh, know that, that window we were looking at for the rolls? Right at the bottom, there's... Oh, uh, shit, okay. Yeah, there's modifier right. circumstance. As you do so, uh, seeing it, it turns its eyes wide, 
And uh, for a second, you think it's going to cry out at you in Goblin, but its voice echoes with this strange, almost chittering noise. As uh, you can see, it is immediately replied as, from the holes, there are several giant centipedes that crawl out. As it oh, is... Geez, not goblins. Uh, it is definitely not a goblin. I repeat... It is definitely not a goblin. Or Scout's like, it's definitely not a goblin, holy shit. <laughs> As it literally is able to speak to giant centipedes. Pretty sure? I mean, maybe those are just really Why would you do this to me? And you haven't seen them before. Alright, uh, but that is a go ahead and let's see who goes first. Put on some battle music. Seen them before. Oh boy. Uh, not me. This sort of, also, it, once again, it appears that the <laughs> giant centipedes get to go first. All right. As I mentioned that I don't like bugs. All right. The giant centipedes crawl along the walls, maintaining their height in the air. Um, like I said, these are roughly 40 feet up or so. Um, 15 that's 30 five. that's 30 let me just go ahead and start moving them in position 5 10 15 20 25 30 5 10 15, 20, 25, 30. All right. This giant centipede is going to use Skitter down here in the midst of you. Um, he is going to make an... He's just going to kind of attack the first person he comes across, which is probably a Miri. It is going to be... I'm obviously the biggest threat on the field. Probably. What, what's with this? Why, why is this here? What's what? Oh, that's where he casts Detect Magic. Oh, okay. Uh, it is gonna be a 19 versus armor class against you. Um, I, I have an 18. Uh, so it hits. Um, you take one point of damage, and I need you to make a Fortitude saving throw. That was one damage? One point of damage. Blind? Uh, it does not have to be blind because you'll either know it passes or you won't. Okay. Alright, you're fine. Uh, this one is gonna go... Five. Sorry, I, I think... I, and I... I speaking for myself but I, I feel like other people are getting this impression as well if, if, it, it feels like most things would have varying degrees of success or failure so i think that's why we're all leaning towards this, this if you want you can literally always do blind i honestly okay. don't you'll care. just you'll just report it to i'll us. just tell you what happens but that, that's that's easy. generally like if you're climbing up a cliff you'll see if you did it or not or you'll be you'll either succeed or you'll be stuck in place or you'll fall um that one's going to use its second move. It can get down to Skazzle. Um, it is going to attack Skazzle. Uh, that is going to be a 19 versus armor class against Skazzle. Is that angry? Yeah, 19 versus armor class. No, it hits, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you take one point of piercing Thank damage. God. And I need you to make a fortitude saving throw. Alright. Uh, that is a fail. You take six points of poison damage. Alright. 
This one is gonna move 5, 10, 15. Is that um, poison me or is it like acid damage or something? Uh, it just does poison damage. T 6 points poison damage. Uh, so this one can't get, so it's gonna have to use... Uh, it's gonna stay on the walls here. Um, this one's gonna... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30... In fact, no, this one's just gonna move here. It's gonna use all its moves to get down here. This one's gonna stay up on the walls up here. Alright, it goes to Sajan. Hey now, hey now, I can't have you attacking my my Gobby, even if he is a Gobby racist. Why are you Gobby be ahead. racist? First one we're gonna use to uh, activate the Tiger Claw. Then we're gonna strike with the tiger claw. Give the tiger that sweet tiger strike. All right. Some eight damage. Uh, all right. That is enough to just smash that one. As these are also very simple, out. a very simple encounter. So we paw at that one a bit, and then I'm gonna turn around and, and swipe at the next one with the same thing. Mm -hmm. That's a miss. Alas, a miss. Well, that's all I've got, because that takes one to activate my stance. Alright. It's gonna go to Skazzle. Skaz. Oh, Jesus Christ. He oh, says this isn't out good. loud. Oh, this isn't there, good. Oh, jeez, oh my. I recall, there is no uh, opportunity to attack, so you can move. There are yeah. opportunity to attack. Um, just there, however, they're it, not um, baked in. You have to do a step action instead of a stride action to avoid an opportunity right, yeah. to attack. But, but they're not baked in, so... They're not baked yeah. in. Certain things have them and you'll find uh, Generally, out. is like, yeah, it's like if, it, if they... And certain if they look like they've got some, like, military training, they might, but something like a bug is probably not. But you can also always recall knowledge and see, do they have an opportunity to attack? That's the type of thing you can recall knowledge for. My god. Wait, did you just throw a basketball at him? It's a pumpkin. It's a pumpkin? Great. Yeah. Yep. Alright. So, I threw a, uh, alchemist fire. All right, and it does hits. flash damage to all these motherfuckers, and they have persistent damage, I think. Uh, how how wide is the splash damage? Because he's thirty feet up in the air. It's uh, it's. Oh wow, really? Yeah. Yeah, he's he's on see, the wall. He's got the plus thirty. He's up on the wall. Okay. Uh, it says five feet of the target. Yeah, I think it's five feet. All right. Uh, so still good. Still hit. Still good, but doesn't. Yeah, uh, still good though. But he's, he's he, still does, he still gets one fire splash damage. Wait, hang on. Does that apply to him? Uh, he. I mean, he's dead. So. Oh, okay. Well, it doesn't matter. Then. Yeah. They're they're not uh they're not hard people. Okay. I'm hard. Yeah, I'm hard. Uh, is there like a a, a dodge action or something like that? Like some uh, kind of defensive stance I can take. Do you have a shield. Generally, no. no. Uh, you can. Uh, there's not like a, like a dodge. I guess I will go further back then. There we go. That should be far enough. Let me see. What are That's my turn. Come on, Tony. Let's see. Okay. All right. It goes to from Scazzle. It goes to the Knot Goblin, which is called a Mitfit. A Mitflit. It's actually a fey creature that can talk to arthropods for some reason. Who, why, who the fuck knows? Is it a, is it a blue method? Goblins, man. You can't trust them. A method? A, 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 nope, a Mitflit. Mitflit, okay. You call him a blue goblin, they need to be trusted. Beer, I'm sorry, what whose turn is it? Is it mine? It's the Mitflit. Mitflit, okay. Alright. 
uh, it is going to rush forward and it is going to I'm gonna cast Bane. Does it have to? It's gonna cast it right here. All right, that is a will save for Sajan. Uh, a will save, thank a you. A will save for Cra uh, Cragtooth. A will save for Amiri. Okay. Private or public? Uh, it's fine for it to be public. You'll either see it works or you don't. It won't. Wow, come on, man. All these ones. All right, you are banged. All right, Amiri is fine. How is Sajan's will saves? Uh, I guess we'll see. <laughs> I think that's he's waiting for it. There we go. All right, you are also a banged. All right. Uh, but that is its turn as it goes to you, Amiri. So I have a question about the giant instinct concept. Yeah. Because I know I know I have a bastard sword, which means I can hold it one-handed or two-handed. But I also know it's a fucking huge bastard sword. Yeah. So unless I'm raging, I have the clumsy thing. Yep. Does that mean I have to hold it two-handed? I mean, it's uh, it's two-handed. Um, no, I know it can be two-handed. I'm asking if I can do like the the grapple or or shove actions because it says I have to have a hand. I mean, free. you can hold it in one hand. Okay, I didn't know if clumsy you like you can, you can change. That, that was the thing Cody was asking earlier. No, no, <laughs> I know, I know, I can do that. But Amiri specifically has something where her sword's a Buster sword. It's enormous, so yeah. she gets a detriment yeah, if she's not. His sword. Yeah, but it's still oh, it's just as tall as he is. Oh, okay. You just basically have a minus one AC. On shit, don't you like some other things? Because you're I, wielding I, a fuck huge sword. Whenever, yeah, I'm whenever not... you're attacking it, you're clumsy. Okay, has that been reflected? I don't feel like it has been. Uh, no. Because I've been. I've so been... you need to be giving you, see, while see... you're wielding the sword a minus one I... circumstance. Okay. I hope Connor's gonna do what I think he's gonna do. Um. Well. Okay. So hold on. I just wanna. I'm. I'm gonna do an attack, but. Please don't count it, because I just want to make sure I'm setting it up correctly. So I should be adding a minus one modifier. For I think that's already baked in. You, that, so that's what I've been trying to figure out. Is it no, baked in? Or you not? can. On that's, the, you on go the to. sheet, it says it is. You go to uh, clumsy. Well, okay. do you have a thing on you that shows like? Now, now I do. Colin just added it. So I'm looking at your roles. No, you didn't have it before. But when I was looking at your character, because I was looking at the character sheets, it says that it the says there's is you can apply it, but it says it's incorrectly per iconic sheet because the iconic sheet is wrong. Okay, but now now it's reflected. Yeah, I just put clumsy oh, on you. Right. Okay. How, how do we add auras to ourselves if we ever need to? I uh, you right click on yourself, assign status effect, and. It's got a bunch of crap. Oh, okay. The basics. Um, if, if it's something that's in a spell, a lot of times you can just drag where it says spell effect Bane on top of you. And it'll anyway, put it on you. I was going to shove Sajan over to here and try and occupy this space. Okay, wow. Okay. I mean, if... Is he? Are you trying to resist being shoved? I mean, I would not expect being shoved, and I'm looking this way, so I think, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't see it coming. I mean, all right, then. He, like I said, if you're not trying to resist it, he'll just succeed and shove you. But that's gonna be an action to shove and an action to move. Well, that that's why I was gonna shove because I can follow if it's successful. Okay. Well. Yeah. Um. So athletic. What New game, who dis? Uh, it's against targets Fortitude DC, so uh, it's against the 16. Uh, 
Uh, you fail. All right, then I stay put. You stay so put. Next. So in that case, it, so that does have the attack keyword on it. So does that count as one of the three attacks? It does. Okay. So I am then going to attack this dude. All right. Is it? Is is? Am I clicking map minus five? Yep. Is that what I'm looking for? Yeah, okay. you're, you're doing the the second one because uh, that shelf counter is an attack. Yeah, it should have it. So in your strikes, the first row is base. The second, or sorry, the first column is base. The second column is your second strike. The third column is your third strike. So you're attacking that. Uh, no, actually, uh, yeah. Plus two at this point, I guess. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, see, it doesn't have the clumsy on there. Maybe it's a circumstance thing you have to put in. It no, he did. Yeah, that's is a bad Worksheet. A twelve. Uh, clumsy doesn't affect melee attack rolls. What? Uh -oh. Wait, is so it a couple points? It, so it, I said it affects your AC and some save stuff. Yeah, it, oh. sure. it'll, it attacks ranged attacks. Oh, okay. That just that seems counterintuitive. Okay. You're right. easier to hit because you have a big clumsy. Oh. Weapon. Oh yeah, it, it affects. It also okay. affects your armor class. That makes more sense that Cody said that. It okay. is Sorry. enough. To no, no, you're that. fine. I, I, probably make, I was probably saying too much and like trying to remember something without properly looking at the sheet and seeing. So no, I, I just don't remember where it is on the sheet where it actually says it. Is it under? If you look through the the, yeah. the Google Drive on the sheet in there, it's uh -huh. on the bottom under traits because your bastard sword has clumsy trait on it. Okay. So if you look at clumsy one. You take a minus one status penalty to dexterity based checks and DCs such as AC, reflex saves, range attack rolls, and skill checks using acrobatic stealth and thievery. You are clumsy one while you wield your large bastard sword. This is not reflected in your AC skills or saves, but is reflected in your accuracy with the bastard sword. So, so I saw the accuracy with the bastard sword and I was like, Oh, okay. It's reflecting the fact that you're wielding it. It's so big, you're slightly easier to hit. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I, I also if, thought it was applying to Connor. My if, you, app. if you hit Control Space, does it bring up a search bar? Control uh, in Foundry or in, in Foundry. Loading index. Yeah. If you type in clumsy. Okay. Does it bring up stuff? Yes. All right. So you can. Whoa! That does something search else for me. And hit that. Can you do that again, Connor? Control space? I want to see what it does. Let's see, I don't, yeah. Can you do that again, Connor? I want to see what it does, because uh, control space does something else for me. Could, what am I doing? Hit, hit control space, and then type in clumsy there. So you see how whenever he control space, it brings up a search thing? Okay, I need to turn off one of my um, opera features then. And then you can just search it, and you can search any of that. Uh, also, hold on. So my AC is lowered, my reflex save is lowered, my ranged attacks are lowered, my melee attacks are not lowered, and skill checks using acrobatic self or thievery are lowered. Okay. Got it. Uh, okay, I'm tracking. Hold on. I was thinking, like, sluggish attacks with that or something. All right. Uh, if you want to, hold on. No. Nope, just do do me a favor. When I pull out, when like combat ready stuff, just remind me to apply that. I don't want to be like unintentionally cheating. Uh, third action, I think, is uh, I will. Did I was I able to move this barricade? Like it I... did move, right? Uh, yes. It, it, okay. it has been moved. I'm gonna get in this guy's grill. Probably a good idea. Is the, uh, is the tripping icon beside me? Is that the clumsy? 
Uh, yes. Okay. All right, I'm I'm done. Cody, you mentioned a Word document. Word document. Or a Google Doc. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're... Yeah. 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 We just want the basic character sheets because I think it explains stuff more clearly in there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. I just when I'm thinking of clumsy, I'm thinking of like attacks being off. So I got it now. I'm trying. Just trying to. It's like a macro. Oh, so I wanted to tell you guys real quick about the the silly phone call I just had. So yeah. I requested that Tucson Games and Jet Gadgets, uh, the game shop here, that has two hundred dollars of store credit for me, because um, I sold like half my board games about the Pathfinder Core rulebook. That was like four weeks ago, and they still haven't called me about it. And it's on the other side of town, so I called them. And I was like, "Hey, like, you know, where, where's my Pathfinder book? What's up?" And they're like, "Oh, well." Um, Pathfinder isn't being isn't very popular right now, so that book is not being stocked. I'm like, it's the core rule book. Do you guys have Pathfinder stuff? How on that? How on earth can you not keep this one in stock? And they're like, well, nobody's really playing it. Pathfinder's almost dead. I'm like, they just released this new edition like last year. What are you talking about? <laughs> so I guess I have to go on Amazon to get my Pathfinder book. Like it? Yeah. Well, you know yeah, what? Like it. Yeah, if they don't want to either, carry it. Yeah, you either want the business or you don't. Well, and that's the thing is like they, they were like, well, it's not like fifth edition, which has, you know, like Stranger Things, Critical Role and stuff going for it. I'm like, you understand that that by definition helps to support all RPGs, right? That's how that works. All right. Uh, anyway, Connor, point, if though. you hit control yeah. space, control space, if you look Ponzi. up GM screen, GM screen GM GM yeah. GM uh -huh. screen screen uh, uh, space, space. Yeah, okay. screen okay. can you pull that to your macro bar the GM screen PF2 at the bottom to your macro bar uh can you I, like I pull see. it down to it like dra yeah, click, yeah, yeah, click yeah. and drag it down to the macro bar yep. okay no I was I was hoping uh can you do it one more time just uh hit GM screen Maybe try click it first. Try clicking it. Yeah, there you go. For some or, uh, that'll bring up actual like the GM screen where you can look up basic actions and skill actions and conditions and senses. There's one for the player screen, but for some reason, anytime I try to f mess with it, oh yeah, if you do pl look up player screen. And you mm -hmm. click on it, it'll bring up like a player one that doesn't have all the the GM information on it, basically. But yeah, that's kind of cool. but yeah, that that's how that works. So you can like look up stuff like that using okay. Control Space. I had to disable one of my Opera built-in shortcuts, but now I have that Control okay. Space. Does that work in Five E for or yes? 5e that game that also, also works in Five E. Fuck yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. In that's fact, it, it's worked in Five E for the past two years. Well, I, I'd never known about it. <laughs> I've never known it. All right, it goes from Amiri to Crag to. All right. Um, I do have a question. Yeah. And just so I just want you to let me know. Um, Electric Arc says it leaps from one target to another. Yes, within, and it has to be within its thirty, 30 feet? foot range. Yep. Now, but when I do a um. If I was to do a spell strike, it, uh, says... it does not. It it uh it only affects the initial creature. So it doesn't jump. It does not jump. to like another one. Okay, I just wanted to double check and make sure. This one right here, the one in front of me, I'm going to, um, um, put in a. I'm gonna do a um spell strike. And I'm going to do it um with my um gouging claw cantrip okay yeah yeah that's good so how do you want me to roll that uh here? that is uh the way that spell strike works is uh it is just you roll an attack roll with your weapon and if your attack okay. hits they both hit okay cool so i'll strike with my weapon that's all right a 21 to a hit 21 so whenever you do that 
you uh, hit with both the electric arc and you hit with the weapon, so they both do damage. Well, I did gouging claw. Then... Or the gouging claw, you do it, it hits, so it, do but I it just does the damage to both. You roll the so damage. Should I just... So I roll a damage for my great sword. Yep, and, and then, then I do a damage. And then do damage I basically for just the... pass. Yeah, damage for the gouge, and then you can hit it, and then you get the damage. So an extra three damage. All right. Um, so, so a total of 11 damage. And, yep, but it is important to remember that puts your spell strike on cooldown until you uncool it down. Okay, cool. But I um, just want to guarantee this guy dies right here. Yep, so that is enough to kill him. Um, your okay. But, um, so your spell strike is now on cooldown. That being said, now that you're using, using spell strike, there are... The ways to bring it off a of cooldown are one, spend an action, and it'll take it off cooldown. I uh, remember that takes two actions to use, so you only have one yeah, action left. One action right now. Or you can cast a conflux spell that will automatically bring it, if it's on cooldown, bring it off of cooldown whenever you cast the spell. Okay. Uh, and those are the and two ways a, to bring it off. A and con what is a conflux? If you look at your spell casting, yeah. uh, it will, your focus spell. Um, is your conflux spell? Um, that's that's what they strike. yeah. That's what they call um the focus spells for Magus is conflux spells. Okay. Um, and how often can I use this focus spell? Because I see uh, I have a focus. You have pool a focus of pool of one. You can use it once, and then you have to refocus, which is a ten minute action. Ten minute. That's right. Okay. Cool. Well, then I will just use my last action to just uh, or actually. Now and also, arcane cascade. if you since you've used your arcane, uh, your spell strike, you can spend an action to arcane cascade, which goes into a stance. During that stance, yeah. since the last thing you did was, was how what damage was it that you did with the spell? Gouging claw. It is a. It do slashing or piercing damage. It does. Whichever um... it was your choice, either or. Oh, slashing then. Uh, then you deal one. It, while you're in that stance, you deal one extra point of slashing damage. How long does that last? Uh, it lasts until the end of the encounter because it's an instant, a stance, or until, uh, you, uh, until you change your stance, uh, until the end of the encounter, or until you use your arcane cast or your arcane spell strike again. Okay, and it just la and how many times can I use it? Just whenever. It's whenever. It's all your attacks. Get it's okay. Plus cool. one then I would use my last action to arcane cascade. Uh, will you hit? The... Uh, will you bring up arcane cascade in the chat? Yep. All right. Then I can drag it onto you. Stance arcade cascade slashing. Okay. And there, now, see, and now you've got. See how it says stance arcade slashing. cascade slashing. Yep. So it it automatically. Oh, I also will have a temporary hit point. Yep. Yay. So yeah, and okay. that's that's the actions. But that's sort of how the arcane cascade works, basically. Cool. Interesting. And that's my turn. That's all three of my actions. Okay. Put him in the dick, Sajan. Uh, goes from crack to. To Sajan, no, this poor, this poor little mitfit. Okay. Uh, crap. So what's this version? No, I have this, to watch uh, Edition's version of dashing. Uh, there's, there's not. Speed? You move, you move you multiple just move times. Multiple you just move times. more times. Oh, you only have a twenty-five. Yup. Dang. Fuck him up, this tiny little fake goblin fucker. The old dick twist. It's so good. Actually, oh, how tall is he? Can I just like weird. grab him by the scruff of his neck and lift him up? I mean, you can you can try to. You can grapple him. Let's do that. Let's see if we can get him to talk. Uh, isn't there actually like a grapple? There is a grapple. 
Uh, if you want to grapple him, you are making an athletics check against his fortitude DC. Uh, all right. Uh, you managed to, like, uh, as he's sort of standing there, sort of chattering, like, wildly at you, like, angrily, uh, you just run up behind him and, like, grab him by the scruff of the neck. So he is grappled. As he starts struggling wildly and angrily. I just got him in front of me. Do you speak common? Not got oh. it. Oh no. The tables, they have turned. <laughs> oh no. Alright. <laughs> From out of nowhere, the, the Mifflin takes two arrows to the chest and dies. Uh, Shame. It starts. God, I'll, I'll never forget that. Uh, it starts uh, just chittering at you in some strange language that you don't understand in any way shape or form uh i do speak goblin can i understand it uh it is not, not goblin. speaking goblin okay S oh S sorry i have goblin trait never mind sazerac or whatever the fuck his name is said he's not a goblin uh it it does uh does not That's speak right. goblin and you do yeah what, what was, i mean was i'm guessing we're, we're i mean technically we're still in combat so uh but uh yeah you've got him by the scruff of the neck as he's just cry like complaining at the top of his lungs in a language you do not understand t t technically me picking him up was my last action so uh yep uh but you do have him uh it right. goes to skazzle you're doing diagonals is two right uh every other diagonal is two so it's five for the first one okay. then ten for the second then five, then ten. That's two. Um. Well, he's grappled, isn't he? Yes. Hmm. Is he beat up at all? No. Pick up a rock and throw it at his head. Uh, Rude. sure, I suppose so. Oh, well, that. Um, let's be like a D twenty plus six, I guess. Dexterity. Uh, it will have a minus two penalty to the attack roll. Uh, for being improvised, but it's just a dexterity. Uh, based attack with uh, minus two. Doesn't be plus one. That's right. So I'm not proficient in rocks. Ah, uh, it... I pick up a rock and it just goes wide and it just fucking hits. Um, what's her name? Connor right in the butt. Amiri. What's her name, Connor? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I, I, I try to throw the rock at him and it just hits Amiri right in the butt. With, like, not not even, like, any, like, pain at all. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? What? It bounces. She's thick. Is that is yeah. that all for it jiggles. Yeah, that's all I got. Alright. I had to move twice. Uh, the Mitfit sort of struggles wildly um it'll it'll try to escape i guess all right double check what escaping is I mean, its odds are not good. That's what he always says before he rolls a crit. It's true. There is a historical precedent for this exact scenario. And then Khaled will eventually go, Oh man, they're rolling really good.
trying to double check what escape is. All right. Futile. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> While you look at that, I'm gonna get some water. Shut up, stinky. Okay, that's what it is. Uh, uh, it will try to escape, uh, just like slither out of your your uh, like your grip. Your what's your athletics DC? Uh, it's fifteen. Athletics DC. Yep. Okay. Uh, it's ten Did plus. So? plus it's ten plus five. Ten. It's ten plus what's your athletics bonus is. So it'll it'll try to. To like slither out, uh, uh, and it does so. Uh, it manages to uh, uh, get out from your actual like claws, and it's so it's uh, no longer grabbed. Um, and it's going to take off running. Uh, yelling at, at the top of its lungs, uh, screaming in terror. I just wanted to talk! 25, 5, 10, 15. Uh, and they will try to make an athletics check down there. Oh boy. Oh wow. And he actually manages to. He, like, it just takes off running. Uh, that's about as far as he can get. He's screaming at the top of his lung in a language you don't understand. I knew as soon as he said, Oh, he's bad at this. All right, it goes to Amiri. It's uh, he's he's run as far as he can. How far is the drop? Ah, uh, it's a ten foot drop. Done. I'm gonna run, jump, seventy five feet would put me right here. Uh, fifty feet would put me right here. Uh, do can I can I just take a running leap and keep on running, or do I have to stop? Jump? Uh, it depends if you want to safely get down or not. Yeah, no, I'm just flying off the uh, fucking cliff. All right, you'll take some damage from leaping off the cliff. Not a problem. Uh, all right, uh, but you'll you're able to go. Line it up and swan dived onto him. Do a triple sow cow. All right. Do. Stick the landing. Um, are you rolling damage or? Uh, it. I'm, I'm double checking what it is. Oh, more than five. Okay. Probably should have raged at some point. Uh, you take. Ooh. Uh, you don't want to. You don't want to do that. You want to climb down. Oh. If you take da if you take damage, you fall prone. Oh, okay. Are oh, you javelin at him? Yeah, okay, okay. Hold on, let me go back to where I was. I'd have to do two. Now moves. you can you can run up here, then climb down, and then run. Well, no, because my first run I can only get here. I mean, you can yeah. run there, and then you can climb down and be here. Um, he's in it, range. Yeah, it depends on if you want to kill him or not. Okay, <laughs> this is a very nitpicky question. Does wielding mean holding? Yes. If okay, so as long as I like, but. What I mean is, like, I'm not trying, I'm, I'm just, like, it's limp to my side and I'm throwing a javelin with the offhand. But, it, like, as long as the long sword is in my, or brass sword is in my hand, I'm under the effects of clumsy. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Okay. You so also, you I, also need to, yeah. Okay, yeah. 
Okay, so I can I drop the weapon as a free action? Yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll let go of the bastard sword and I'll throw a javelin at the, the blue guy. So that's one to move and then free action to drop and then javelin throw for plus five. Oh, I got a target. Tango. Tango, there we go. Right. Uh, it arches over him and lands in the dirt b uh, behind him as uh, uh, he's, he sort of ducks looking over his shoulder as you do so. Uh, it was a miss. Uh, inventory. Javelin. Three. There we go. Um, okay, I will grab my bastard sword and I'll, I'll climb down. Uh, it's uh, Picking up your best sword is, an, that gonna, is an action. It's going to be an okay. action because you I set it a, on the ground. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Okay. Then I will I will throw another one. So that's okay. minus five. Hey! Oh. Uh... As you sort of toss it at him, that one does manage to hit. Alright, that's me then. Alright. Alright, uh, it arches through the air, and it buries itself into his back. Yeah. That's all three of me. All three of me is an album name. Uh, he collapses on the ground with the arrow sort of plunk, or the javelin sort of plunking out of him as he, uh, keels over. Got him. All right. I'll call over my shoulder. I will pick up my sword. Oh, let's see. How do you do the thing where you, you measure and then move? I can't remember. Like, whenever you click on your token, it, you like hit control and then... I forget exactly. I don't do that moving that much, so... Alright. What is... Hold on. I don't want to ask that. Tim... Okay. All right. Oh, it's spacebar. That's right. Okay. Yeah. You, uh, uh, it goes down, right there, uh, as it collapses Bastard on the ground. Through my fingers. What was that? Faster, just slip through my fingers. I look down at my sword and I go, but it's in my fingers. You killed him. Pretty sure. He's right down there. He I'm looks pretty dead to me. I will lower the goblin down. Oh, I want to be like, you know, why don't you take a closer look and just pat him on the back to knock him over? Is there anything Would worth... knock him off the cliff? Anything worth from these guys right here? I'm doubting it, but... The giant, unfortunately, the giant bugs are, don't have much worth to them. Nah, not too surprised. Actually, I was going to check them for, like, the poison. See if I can get some of that. Uh, you can make a crafting check. Fuck yeah. Give me all that bug poison, baby! Uh, you unfortunately are unable to get any poison off of them. You dead fuckers, I didn't need you anyways. Uh, they're not too big, their poison is not... There's not a, a lot of it, unfortunately, as you sort yeah. of try to get to their mandibles. Um, unfortunately, you just are unable to harvest uh, an adequate just, amount. They, they spent a the load on me, what can I say? Uh, uh, unfortunately, your roll was not, not, not great. Nope. <laughs> All right. It happens. 
that happen often to you, Beaver? What, you already spent your loop for the day, so you just can't? Yeah. I mean, All yeah. right. Uh, Amiri, roll a perception check for me. Okay. You've had that happen, too. How do, how do I add Clumsy back again? Uh, uh, just type in Clumsy? You you can, or you can right-click on yourself, go to Assign Status Effects, which is a little aura, and it puts a bunch of auras next. Like, it has a pull-out menu. Oh, go that's clumsy, right. You're not, go but you're not wielding it right now. No, I picked it up. But you're not wielding it right now. Wow. Yeah, if you're if, it, if it's on your back, if you've got it like yeah, on your okay. bag. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Let me just click it again. Nope, that's it's right, oh, click. right, right click. I make a perception check. A uh, perception. I guess I'm no longer scouting. Thank you. All right. Uh, whenever you go and you pull this javelin out, you can see the mitflit quiver quivers. It's not dead. It's pretending to be dead, as it's sort of keeping its eyes closed, trying to be unnoticed. Can I pretend that I didn't notice that? Uh, you can. Um, you can. You me, is that like a performance, maybe? Yeah, or a deception. Mm, they're both plus one, but I like performance better. It'll be against its perception at DC. All right. It doesn't move at all, as it sort of just keeps its eyes closed, laying there face down on the ground. You just sort of saunter away. No, I'm, I'm standing still. Oh, it's just, just it's just laying there. As if I didn't notice. It's just laying I there. I will, I will reach up to receive the goblin friend so that he can get down more easily. Oh, uh, do you want to, you want to catch me like Prince Charming? I was thinking Patrick Swayze. Yeah, fuck it. I'll jump down. <laughs> <laughs> Not a fan of Dirty Dancing. Are you gonna leap into Let's his arms? It. All right. You leap into his arms. Make athletics check, Amiri. Okay. <laughs> oh man, this is giving me fucking bulwark flashbacks when I fucking disfigured that guy. <laughs> Congratulations, Scazzle! You take five points of damage and land prone as Amiri does not catch you. Wait, he rolled the thing. I didn't roll. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was my roll. I meant to make it private. I'm it's sorry. It's a good thing that Scazzle didn't roll because <laughs> you would have fallen face fucking down on the ground. All right, you managed to catch him. All right, I'm climbing down now. All right, uh, give me athletics check to climb down. All right, you're Whee! fine. You, you pretty easily climb down. In fact, there's a rope secured by the mitt fit that e makes it even easier. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Yeah, I didn't see that. That that well, that's what it was doing when we first saw it. Was securing a rope to climb oh, down right. here. It's also what it used to climb down there. All right, it just goes to crag two from top. Give me a athletics check to climb down. Cody. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, there's a rope. Oh, going. All right, give me an athletics check. Eek. Ah, uh, thanks. To, but with the uh, with the rope, um, you're able to sort of clumsily climb down, but you are able to successfully do so thanks to the rope, making it significantly easier. Yay! We'll see it down. Uh, Scazzle's fucking doing the words for um, uh, Dancing Queen. And in you I don't know how to react dance. to that. All right. Uh, at the bottom. Time uh, of your life. You can see uh, there is what appears to be a archway uh, that leads into the mountain. Although it looks like there, I can't really make stone doors. So you'll have to just trust me that it's two stone doors between them. <laughs> uh, a large. Door. Uh, sort of stairway that leads up to a platform leading up to these stone doors and two massive statues flanking it. <sighs> instantly. Is instantly, that, I want to do I say, a, is, that, is that where you move, Saja? I was, um, I was trying to say it, but then he moved on. I was going to attack. Like, wait, there, there's something about these two statues. I, I was going to cast 
detect magic. All right, ca here. Uh, you can uh, you cast detect magic in a thirty foot emanation. Um, Just right here, right looks. here in the middle. See how cool it looks, Connor? It changes that colors. Really cool. <laughs> can I actually? Uh, That's too cool for that. a king. I'm gonna be checking around the statue for writings or anything. Yep, yep. Uh, all right, so. Uh, you are. We got exploration. We got Cragtooth is uh, cast and detect magic. Exploration. Sometimes I hate pulling out. Exploration effects. Exploration effects. There we go. We got one detecting magic. Uh, you're inspecting the statues. How many fucking conditions are there? Yeah. A lot. Uh, are, are you, uh, uh, the statues are large and prominent. Um, they depict what appear to be two strange humanoid figures that have crocodiles, like crocodile heads. That's what you see. Uh, just sort of a quick glance over. Uh, would you like to in, like investigate them for for um any sort? Of, what like what what? How would you like to investigate them? Uh, me? Yeah. Because you could be oh, looking yeah. at them for like, are they religious? Or do I know anything about them? Do they have a history? Are you checking for traps on them? Because it depends on how you're investigating them determines well, what you're checking for any kind of etchings or anything okay so you're uh doing a search uh what is amiri doing uh i am going to bend down and i'm going to pick up the, the little guy like a cat like by his neck all right uh like this cat who won't stop clawing at my share uh it does its uh, as you lift it up, it, like, does its best to, like, sort of hang limp. <laughs> to be dead? To play dead. Do, do you want me to athletics check that? for? Crap? No, no, you don't have okay. to worry about that. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna kind of shake him. Alright. You can see, it, it continues playing dead, but you can see it slowly opens one eye and looks around, like, nervously, like, closes it again. I will, I will shake him again, and I will motion towards the Egyptian entryway. It finally, like, opens an eye, and it sort of, uh, like, s swats your hand. It says, Kitsch, kitsch, nishta! What? Can I, can I ascertain at all what that dialect is? Uh, you can make a society check. We do live in one, so. Yeah. <laughs> can I, it is a recall. Can I do the same thing. Recall knowledge society. If he's not, he doesn't seem to be struggling. So I'm gonna like, if I can, I'm gonna walk him over here. All right. Bring him with me. And that that's society. Yep. Uh, and you just. Do I overhear that? You kind of do the same thing. Uh, it depends. Like, no, I'm I'm not I'm not social. Uh, you can yes, I'm attempt to. Alright. You uh, don't know what he's saying, but you do recognize the language. He is speaking under common. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. So now that's why I can't understand him. Cash, cash, nifra. And he's like, keeps swatting Amiri's hands. And he points at the ground. I think he's telling me to put him down. Uh, I mean, is he gonna run? I will put a javelin in one hand, <laughs> and I will put the goblet, the the what what is it? Uh, it um, is called mit a flit? mit mit flit. Mit flit. I will I will put the mit flit on the ground. It's a it's like, a I'm, fake I'm gonna, gremlin apparently. I'm gonna lower it until his like toes just touch the ground very slowly, and then once if I see his heels go down like he's just trying to stand up, then I will let go. Right. 
Uh, he, uh, uh, as you sort of lower him down, he sort of... Oh, I also, if, if, if possible, could I recover my previous javelin? Yes. Yes. Okay. He, uh, he sort of, uh, fixes, as you set him down, he sort of stands up a little bit and, like, fixes his collar. He, like, swats you on the, he can only reach, like, your knee, like, annoyedly. Kitsch kish nifa! That, that, that's the same phrase he keeps repeating, right? Kitsch kish nita. Yeah. Okay. Um, and he, he just looks kind of annoyed with you. But he, there's, him. there's no need for that beyond there, because he's clearly not, he's hurt, but he's not dead. The feeling is mutual, buddy. He, he I'll just kind of stands there looking a little bit exasperated. I'll point at the door and I'll be like, what's up with that? Kitch, he, kitch, he, he just sort of scratches his head and says, uh, be, Beshne? And he sort of motions towards the door and he like tries to make it look like he like puts his hands together and then he opens them like opening the door and says, Besh, Beshna. And then he, he points like to himself and then he points to his eyes and then he points to the door. I should add I'm a barbarian. I mean, I see that he sees the door, but... I'm not sure that's what he means. I don't think it's what he means either, but fuck, that's all I can get. And he sort of... Uh, can I, can I like... Being I pretty vague. Him? Can I shove him forward, like, with my foot? Like, not, not hard, but, like, just kind of nudge him? I mean, you can, but he sort of... Uh, he sort of takes a step on the stairway and then sort of takes a step back, and he said... He sort of shakes his head... As he motions for the doors and he points to his eyes and then he uh he he makes the door opening thing again like with his hands like he's like two doors opening whenever he puts his palms up and together like there's doors opening and then he tries to motion like with his fingers something walking out of it okay does he seem scared i mean yeah no I, i'm sorry i get that like he's half dead if you want to uh, you can uh, attempt a. I'm trying to say, does he seem afraid of the door? You can uh, uh, yeah. roll a perception check on him. Okay. Um, did my detect magic see anything? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Your Cody. detect magic did not sense anything. Okay. Uh, there's nothing. What, what about no... what about from a friend here? Does he is he magical? Uh, he himself is not magical. Okay. Um, but he is, uh, uh, if you want to, you can do a, a recall knowledge on him, now that he's kind of there, um, see if you know anything about him. Uh, it's a nature one. I think that's a, I mean, I have plus three, I could try that. Yeah, I'll do that. I also did my perception. Right. Uh, you know that uh, you know that he can talk to uh, like arthropods. You saw that, but you don't know much else about that, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, Mitflit is not super familiar to you. Sure. Um, I know you said you can't make stone doors, but it is very obviously a doorway. It is obviously a doorway. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'll look at the group and do you want me, you want me to push it open? I mean, I don't think uh, we'll before, see statues, to be honest. Before anything, Sajan, give me a perception check. Since you're inspecting the statues. A good call. Yeah, I want to inspect the statues, too. All right. The other one, at least. Uh, Sajan is looking for uh, runes and anything weird like that. Etchings. Um, I'm looking reading. for anything that would like shoot out like uh, give me a, fucking activation right. trap. Uh, give me a per also give me a perception check. In fact, I'm going to give you a plus two aid. Oh. All right. With the two of you working together, the statues are quite plain. 
honestly, it looks like they've, they're they extremely old. Worn by wind and sand. Um, likely, you know, some sort of religious symbol from long ago. Perhaps even before the founding of Sanctum, when this land was heir to Padashah. But what you do see is that there are the actual stony cobblestone parts are slightly raised uh, and it is clearly trapped. Um, it looks like whenever you look up at their mouths that are slightly open, it is able to shoot arrows out of the mouth at whoever walks on the threshold. Well, whoever, My God. whoever triggers the trap walking on the threshold. Well, wow. seeing as um, Louie was about to do that, he really did was about to speak Goblin again. <laughs> um, Is there a boulder nearby that I can put onto one of these traps? How tall are they? Roll onto one of it. How tall yeah, are the statues? Right here. Yeah. Why would you do that to the poor Midfly? He's not... <laughs> <laughs> like, change, change yourself to neutral evil. I mean, I was... Okay. It's about... <laughs> 20 feet. The statues themselves are roughly 20 feet tall. Okay, so they're going to shoot down at an angle. Yes, they're shooting down at an angle. Going down over here, I want to teach, uh, I want to teach Lou some goblin curse words for when he inevitably steps on shit and triggers it and blows up. Is there a gap here? Can we sneak, can we kind of go around them? Uh, it is any of these that you step yeah, on. Oh, oh. Any, any of the ones that you step on. It'll it'll fire a dart at it. Let it let it fire, and then we can step on the boulder over it. Uh, I mean, we could go back and grab some of the, the cart. Uh, you can stuff. you can do that. You can attempt to disable it. You can, um, uh, um hang on. Well, maybe you can disable you, it. I'm not theoretically, it theoretically, you can trigger it and try to avoid it because it still has I'll to make it. an attack against you. Can I toss my sword onto it? Uh, it does, your sword does not have it, enough weight to trigger it. Okay. Hey, Skazzle, cool. why don't you just toss a bomb up in there? I'm gonna step back. I will pick up the, our little friend again, like a cat, and I'll pull him back. All right. For, sa for safety. He, you, you barely have to pull him. He's happy to, like, move away from it. Gazzle. I think we lost Gazzle. He's still mourning the Panthers' loss. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. The fact that. No, so you know, on the bright side, Beaver, the fact that at the end they had a chance to win is pretty much a miracle at all. So. I mean, uh, it, it really was. And, like, the fucking football gods get to them everything they could to try and squeeze a win out of that, but. Honestly, they didn't deserve it. I mean, scoring like 17 shit. points is in, in the fourth is pretty cool, but... It's pretty they, cool, but you can't... They you did, also cannot give up over 200 yards of fucking ground they, they, offense They alone. did get some pretty bad calls against them, so... Um, I mean, yeah, that, that rough the pass was bullshit. But that's still, just, that's just par for the course for the yards. Panthers. That's, Let's be that's, just the, yeah. that's just how the refs do, though. Yeah, exactly. That's just how the refs do. But, like, you can't Gazzle give up 200 we. yards of rushing. All right, all right, all right, Skazzle. We suggested that you throw a bomb onto the plinth to attempt oh, yeah, to sorry. trigger the statues. Okie dokie. Yeah. How many of those things I you got there? Oh, I got plenty. I think Cody meant Ooh, like five. literally like the actual you have number, an yeah. unlimited supply. I have five left. Okay. But can't you cause the alchemist can like make shit on the fly, right? Yeah, but um, they've this got, guy already came with all this shit used. Uh, they've got okay. they've got charges. They can't just keep making stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they've got charges, and he's already used all five. Well, if my sword's not well, heavy enough to trigger it, the little guy's not either. It is it is unlikely that your bomb would be heavy enough to trigger it either. Um, I could just push down on it, like you know, from a distance, like with the sword. You want to try that? I do like the the dichotomy between this and fifth edition. If this was a trap in fifth edition, we'd be like, yeah, okay, whatever, shoot me. 
Yeah, what are you gonna do? Oh, what are you hey, gonna do? Look, a short rest. Do what? I, what I mean, it's two things. things. It's two things, Connor. One, if this was first level Dungeons and Dragons, we would be be more, more careful. No, because we two, still have short rests. Okay, and we have short rests here. Speak. No, not not in that way. We do. Uh, you, you have different kinds. You have a different kind. You can treat wounds. In fact, Scazzle can tr try to treat wounds. Yeah. yeah, but it's still a chance versus the guarantee of just... It is. Oh, also, you can only do it once every hour. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. Like, it, it's it's a much more slow, methodical progression than 5th. Than and it does only heal you for, like, 2d8. Um, yeah, like I said, I could, I could try and, like, you know, trigger it from a distance with the sword. You can attempt to. Uh, would that be an athletics check to hold it like that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you reach out with the sword and you sort of depress the plate and uh, you tr or you press out and nothing happens as you keep pressing down as hard as you can and Nothing's really happening. Am I... You said as hard as I can. Am I reasonably confident that I did, like, press really hard? You feel like you did, yeah. You felt like you were pressing can down I, as hard as you can. Can I, like, make a crafting check on the trap itself? And, like, try and find a way to either trigger it or disarm it? Or that just be just a straight-up disarming check? Uh, you'd be... To disarm it, it's just a straight-up disarming check, so it's thievery. Okay. Uh, if you want, you could use a craft, like a crafting check, to help someone with a thievery check to disarm it. Um, the wall. Or, I'd or probably some, have, or to have someone. Somebody can me. try to aid yeah. you. Yeah, with that's your thievery probably check. Should yeah, so, I can. Yeah, aid is pretty much if you if you can imagine it, you know, and explain it, do it. Then you can. We can see you can make can, a check and see if it aids him. Can I can I try to aid him then? Yeah. Well, how would you like to aid him? You said he's going to try to disable the trap. Yeah, he's going to try to make thievery to disable it. Okay. Um. Let me just check to see. Um. Then I'm untrained in thievery, but trained in. Uh. Trained in society, okay. I would say that since I'm, I would know what kind of statues, like how statues are made, like going by like kind of statues I've seen, like where would like a, where would like be like a, or like stuff like this, where like a pressure point would be, like, oh, like where it, the air is have to be a hollow. Uh, yeah. If, if, uh, possibly, uh, you could roll. A society check to see. Well, if you were rolling a size society check, you it'd be more like um less about trying to f the mechanics of it and more like does do I recognize the history of these statues and if they do, did these people have a particular way that they hid traps? That's how like society sure. would work. Okay, all right, sure. Then yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Um. So that so would be like a society. Blind or. Uh, that'll be blind. Okay. There you go. Okay. All right. Uh, it is, be right back. uh, it's not a, not an incredible check, but it is good enough to give you a plus, that's not wrong, plus one, it is good enough to give you a plus one scazzle from aid. It's almost again, just in case. I'm gonna try it. Thievery right. tools? Ah, uh, yep, it's a thievery. Alright, let's see what happens. All right. Uh, you can you sort of carefully inspect it, and uh, sort of take your thieves' tools, and you look at where Amiri was holding down. Uh, Amiri did not press, did not manage to put down enough weight pressing down on the sword. Unfortunately, um, didn't actually manage to depress them because you can see they're still slightly raised. But you do have a wise idea uh, that can, at the very least, help. Um, you take several, like, wedges out of your thievery kit, and you are managed to wedge them up, 
underneath the flagstones, so they're not going to be able to go be pushed down um, as you manage to disable the trap. Pretty good, pretty good thievery roll for a pretty simple trap. All right, so it's it's covered now. Yes. Okay, because my next idea yeah. is to climb up the statue and actually see if it's loaded. Yep, uh, they are loaded, but yeah, he's put wedges in the like flagstones where they'd fall down and uh, uh, able to keep them from depressing, basically. All right, little guy. You don't even you don't always need lock picks. You just sometimes just need a little uh, need a little note card or something. Fold it up a couple times. It looks like a wobbly table. I will uh, pick up our friend, and I will carry him to the door. All right. He uh, sort of struggles at first initially, but then he just sort of lays limply as you just carry him to the door. Um, yep. ni ni mikate? As he points to the door. I hate how good you are at that. Is he questioning, or... Like, like... What, I guess, what what is his demeanor when he's saying this? You can roll a perception check. Okay. Do you want in there? And I think he wants in there. Uh, yes, that's uh, what I'm... He seems a bit nervous as he points to the door. Uh, and he, uh, uh, he reaches into, like, a... A pouch, and he pulls out a dagger, but he doesn't like try to hit you. He like, like slashes it in the air, and he points back towards the, uh, back towards the entrance of the canyon. Uh, oh. I'll pull out the two arrows that I got off the bodies, and I'll show them to him. Does he react? He furrows his brow, and he sort of nods his head, and he points at the arrows, and he points to the door, and then he makes, like, the walking motion. I'll say... Kiki! I'll, I'll, Kiki Michita! I'm gonna point at the door, I'm gonna do the doorway opening hand motion that he made, and then I'll make, like, a stabbing motion with the arrow. Uh, he sort of nods his head, and he sort of, um... Uh, it's like he concentrates for a moment, he says, Kiki Michita! And he says, uh... I don't like that. I don't like that he said that. I'll look at the Magus and I'll say... A word that is common enough that he would be able to sort of figure it out and know that one common, perhaps. Like, you know, some people say without how to say hello, basically. Colin, you're the best fucking GM, I swear to God. Draw. I will. Okay. Is Cody Brow here? Cody's there. not here. Of course he's not. Yeah, he's not. All right, that was that was good. That was good shit. I'll I'll pat him on his head and I'll say thank you, and then I will stash my arrows, and I will uh I, I you know I'm gonna wait until Cody gets here. <laughs> oh, Can gonna... we do? Uh, would this be a good time for like medicine checks? I'm, yeah, like I'm I said, hurt, it, a, a medicine but... check is a ten is a ten minute activity. Oh. Um, okay. Like it's it's a downtime activity. So while 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 people while you're exploring, you can also be doing medicine checks and things like but that. But that's like a feat, right? Uh, it is to do a medicine check. You have to be have a healer's kit or healer's tools. You have to be trained in medicine, or in the case of like uh, Cragtooth, uh, he's not trained in medicine, but he's trained in nature, and he has a his feet that lets him use nature. Um, okay. So so functionally. If I don't see it in my list of actions, I don't have it. I yeah, can't. although Cragtooth also doesn't see it in his list of actions because it doesn't pull it over. Because he's not technically trained in medicine, although he can use it because he has a feat that lets him do it. So he just he would just okay. roll his nature check and he'd be able to treat wounds. Um, okay. Well, I am injured. If somebody wants to help me out, it's not bad. So if anybody uh, else it, is more hurt, at, help at, them out. I said, at your level, I mean... He can do it on everybody. Just it takes oh, ten minutes. Okay. To, he, he, it takes ten minutes to do so, and he he can only do it once per hour on one person. So like you'd he'd have to wait another hour before he treats wounds on again for you. So you'd still have doubt. You'd basically be doing downtime essentially. Okay. So Cody, 
our friend yes. here and us, we reached some common ground. Okay. Uh, he indicated to the door. I'm describing this because this is actually really well done by Colin. He indicated I, I have the to door. Pee, so just describe it. Yeah, I'm go pee. Go. He he indicated the door and made a, a stabbing motion with his dagger, and I showed him the arrows. And he furrowed his brow. He pointed at the door, and then he struggled to say the word drow. Ah. So, I then, I then pointed at the door, made the door opening motion, and then made a stabbing motion with my own arrow, and he kind of concurred that there are baddies behind the door. Well, and we were for sure. I'm we, guessing we disabled the trap also. Yes, uh, uh, Beaver, how do I say your fucking name? Skazzle. Skazzle. I keep wanting to say like, like Sazerac or something. Like, like double click his character token. No, it, it doesn't have any. Yeah, double click his character token. It has his name at oh, the top. Oh, okay. Skazzle. Skazzle. Rizix. That's not the same name you had before, is it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it, it was? I thought it was different. No, it's the same. Uh, okay, Skazzle did some shivs and, and it, I wasn't pushing down on it hard enough. Dangers of the blind rolls. Anyway, I'm going to use the bathroom as well. Oh, it's getting late. But also, yeah, fuck 5th edition. This is like... I don't know. There's just something about well, it. Well, this is also super guided and pre-made, so... No, that's true. Yeah, but well, like, I am I, totally I, all in on my uh, gunslinging magus. I was thinking about it though, like having the three options I thought was going to make turns take longer, but they there really don't go. because you have options that you can do. Rather than you have to decide on the best option to do, you can pick a chain of options and adjust on the fly, and I think that makes turns move faster. Well, see, the thing is, like with 5e, is you got to find the best way to move, the best way to act, and the best way to bonus act. I, but right. here it's like you've got three actions and you've got three actions to fucking act. I have successfully yeah. made tinkles. So made key? I made tinkles. Ah. All right. Back in, Connor. But uh, yes, he did say a word that is yeah. recognizable in every language, that of drow. Oh, big booty bitches. Oh. And indeed, uh, there you did find a. Uh, dagger that had spiderweb insignias on it. If you had made a religion check on it, you would have uh, had a chance of doing that. But uh, also helps that the the, the goblin word for uh, drow is very similar to the goblin word for cunt. So, uh, but yes, it is. Uh, uh, he was able to do so, and he does not seem eager to continue inside necessarily. But it is an interesting thing to see. Now, uh, someone wanted to treat wounds, yes? Connor did, but he got up. I mean, Cody can treat wounds. Mm -hmm. uh, so, there are no short rests, there are no healing surges. You heal by using the action Treat Wounds, which is an out-of-combat, basically, exploration action. It takes ten minutes to do. And so I could focus during that too? Yes, you can. You can refocus during that as well. Um, okay. Because you can refocus and treat wounds at the same. Treat wounds doesn't stop you from doing anything else. It's just something that you do. It takes about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. You can still be looking around and things like that. Um, but whenever you treat someone's wounds, they have to wait an hour before they ha you can treat their wounds again. Um, so to treat wounds... Um, in fact, if you hit the control you know, space and you can actually bring up treat wounds, um, it is an action. Um, you, in your case, you can roll a nature check because you've got that feat from being an herbalist. Um, but yeah, I you, have um, natural medicine. Yes. Normally, uh, you would make a medicine check. Uh, DC, a flat, or not a flat, a DC 15 medicine check. Um... And whenever you, if you succeed, you heal for 2d8 damage, or 2d8 hit points. Um, if you critically succeed, you heal for 4d8 hit points. Um, and as you level up and you get better trained in medicine or nature, um, you can do better versions of it, basically. Um, the DC goes up higher. 
but you can do better versions of it to heal like 48 plus blah 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 and things like that. Is this treat wound? Yes. Uh, like if you if you're a expert in medicine, you can make a t DC 20 check and increase, and you can do 2d8 plus 10 or 48 plus 10 if you crit. Um, if you are met a master, you can do 2d8 plus 30 hit points healed, that sort of thing. So, the higher, the more tiers you get in your healing skill, skill the better your treat wounds can get. It increases the DC of that treat wounds, but uh, you heal for a lot more. Unfortunately, it is possibly to critically fail healing wounds and dealing 1d8 damage. So that is rough, but that is is not super common. You'd have to roll a 5 or lower, basically, which is very difficult. Who needs the healing? Um, I, So I am hurt. Not bad, but I am hurt. I can't. Only only hurt. I can so. only see myself in Cody's HP. And, and, and uh, I will say one of the nice things about Pathfinder is all the encounters are balanced about around no, basically I... everyone being at pretty much full health every fight. Okay. Um. Scazzle britches. Yeah, that's what he put down. Scazzle britches. Uh, how hurt were you? Me. Yeah. Uh, I I'm not like half. I, yeah, we can't, I we done, can't I see done, Yeah, I could have done treat wounds on you. I mean, you still can. It doesn't, uh, using elixirs doesn't apply like any, uh, any debuffs or anything like that. Well, I mean, like, I feel like that's something you should say. I mean, like, in case, like, what if I heal you for, like, back to health? I said like that I was going to use an elixir on myself. Well, we were in the middle of talking about treat wounds, and you just said it and did it. <laughs> You should be able to mouse over them and see what their health bars are now. Okay, now I can see everyone's health. Okay. Well, I will do treat wounds on... Uh, put that Spit that potion back out, goddammit. I'll, I'll do a treat <laughs> wounds on you. Hold still. So, I do a nature check. Are we in nature where I can find natural ingredients? We yes. Have like the, the water and the, uh, Probably. the mushrooms. Probably, yes. So, you'll have a okay. plus two circumstance bonus to it. So, I just do a skill nature check? Uh, uh Yep. Uh, and I add, and two you'll to add it? a plus two circumstance bonus. Okay. Um, un unfortunately, I he's not particularly great at nature for you know being trained in it, but better than medicine. It's but, better. Uh, it's better than public, nothing. Correct. Uh, yeah, yeah. You'll you'll see if you'll know if it works or not. Basically. Roll high, doggy. Hey. 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 All right. You heal for. Uh, act. Do I roll it or does he roll it? Uh, yeah. He, uh, you can roll it. Also, it would have been a 22, because I don't see that you put in the plus two circumstance bonus. So I did. That's weird. I did put it in. Whatever. Uh, I'll roll the 2d8. You it, restore nine hit points. That's pretty good. Whenever you put it in, did you make sure to hit the add button? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Let me try it again, just to see. All right. I'll just roll it again to make sure it went through. Put, yeah, put that potion healing. back out, idiot. Oh. oh, no, I didn't see the add button. Okay, whoops, yeah, I missed it. So you have to type it in and then click add. And then you actually have to hit the add button and it'll, it'll okay. add it. That's a little fun. Oh, I already have natural medicine. Uh, that's like a thing I can do. It was crossed off. Oh, oh that's yeah. cool. That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty good. What What is this? I have a thing. Okay, did you want to further describe I, that? Yeah. I have a I have a check mark I can just click to say on to add a plus two for natural medicine for a nature check. Nice. So cool. Oh, oh, so you have like an innate. It's button. already baked in. That's cool. So cool. I was gonna I was gonna uh, ask, give... can we do the aid action to a healing action if we aren't trained in medicine? Uh, technically no. No. Okay. I wasn't sure. I I, I was thinking like either way kind of makes sense, but Cody, now what are you eating? All right. Uh, so you heal to full. Um, uh, that takes, you know, 10 minutes of working on him. Keep an eye out. Um, so you are tr wound treated. Um, if you want, you can also turn around and do the same thing for Amiri, um, right afterwards. You don't, there's not a char, there's no charges on. I thought you, know, you said it was once an hour. 
it's once per person per hour, so Scrazzle yeah. can't have it for an hour. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Ten minutes to try why. to treat wounds on you. Sure. Yeah, uh, go for it. You can you can turn around. Yeah, it's try. but it's a cooldown on the person, basically. Well, can I try it on him again? On uh, uh not not Scazzle, but on yeah, on Amiri, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Scazzle's at full health. He spit that potion yeah. back up. Yeah. Thankfully. Uh, Amiri, yeah, you can... I, I, I spit like the the first like sip back in the bottle, put the lid back on it. I was like, yeah, that one's mine. I'll I'll, I'll just okay. put that one aside. Now yeah. I'm adding the uh the the two to it, so I have a plus five. Uh, I rolled a ten. Ooh, unfortunately, you don't hurt Amiri, but you don't manage to uh make progress on I, don't hurt I mean it's possible to actually deal da damage now interestingly you, enough, enough you took the damage from like falling yeah uh i don't remember how i took this damage so uh, connor you yeah, know how i was actually, talking about that background right it comes there... with the risky surgery feat it's yes. neat because you deal 1d8 slashing damage um, whenever you treat wounds, but you get a plus two circumstance bonus to the roll, and if you succeed, it counts as a critical success. And how much is a critical success heal for? 4d8 instead of 2d8. Oh, so as long as you can survive the 1d8, I'm going to heal you for 3d8 additional, okay? Well, 2d8 additional, but it 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 yeah, yeah. it, it, you, it kind of balances out, because, you know, you, on average, you do maybe four damage. So you're like the occultist in Darkest Dungeon. Uh, and and that's sort of how the risky surgery works. It's pretty neat. It it gets less useful as you level up higher, but it's nice to have at the start. I dig it. All right. Um, you have managed to successfully disarm the trap. And the, before you sits the door, it is still closed. As uh, you can see that recently. Quite recently, uh, it was probably just sitting unopened, but you can just make out scuff marks on the floor where it was has, within the last couple days, been opened. Well, it does, so we'll try and open it. Let me see if I can uh, find any way to... I don't think I can pick the lock. That's, that's kind of ridiculous but I'm gonna see if I can find some way to open the door okay find some kind of hinge maybe I'm gonna put a rope you sure you don't want to you know make sure Mithlet doesn't run away Has... worry about the hasn't he proven himself enough I All don't right. think he's much of a threat although he was trying to call out to stuff. I mean, uh, he called out to those centipedes. He speaks. Ar they speak arthropod. Yeah, but they're super. Yeah, but now they're all dead. Yeah, he was trying. He was running down here, uh, running away from us, yelling and stuff. Yeah. Although so all the ones that can do anything to us are all dead. All his friends are gone. So maybe the small thing for him is not to get killed. Ain't that right, buddy? Yeah. Let go over at him. Vintestiev. He, uh, See, he agrees. Uh, he motions towards the door, and he just sort of shakes his head. Ich, ich, wish mich nicht weiß. I, but he doesn't speak anything except under common, so you just are not sure what he's saying. How do we open the door? kind of stares at you that doesn't that doesn't work i can promise you that will not work he uh motions and he's oh shit it's aria what the fuck is aria here he just kind Why of the fuck is aria there? motions like Why are you here? to pull the doors open <laughs> What are you watching? Is it porn? Cody's watching porn. Is it porn? <laughs> Cody, I love porn, you. Oh, yeah, I was just going to tell I was watching, uh, watching porn with Arya. That's yeah, true. I have done that before. Big Booty Bitches 9. Oh, yeah. It's a classic. Uh, we got a... Boku no Pico, sadly. But... It's fish 9. 
Uh, as he motions yeah. towards the door, um, he just kind of motions for for him. He said he says they, he basically motions that they motion they pull outwards. Oh. He like pushes up against it and they don't move, but then he sort of motions pushes up again. He motions they they pull outwards. Okay. I'm gonna take no, they're not locked. They're not locked. Fuck. Okay, so what, it looks what, like they used to be locked, but no so longer. So he says that they push outwards, like they, yeah. Talk, well, he has to pull. Like, all outwards, or does it literally? You have to pull. It's a damn pull door. It's a damn pull door. It was at okay, one I'm point. Making... It was recently locked, but no longer. Whatever came out unlocked it. Came right, out. So I'm not going to need to jam my sword up into the top and wedge it and lever it out. Probably, uh, probably not. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead. So we're gonna be opening this, right? Everybody ready? We've been ready for half an hour. The Mitflit, right, uh, Mitflit d does not want to go in with you though. He sort of stays back, sort of shakes his head. Your pet's not coming with us. It's true. Need to if he doesn't want to. We've already troubled him enough. He's helped us out here. Let him be on his way. You just leave it out here. You're not gonna give it any food or water or anything before we go. Who knows how long till we're back? I don't appreciate the monk uh, infantilizing the sentient creature with us. Yeah, Kuvufe. No. I will give him a knuckle bump and I'll tell him sorry about the javelin. But you did sick a bunch of giant centipedes on us. I think we're square. And anyway, we I'm going to start opening the door. Alright. You have to uh, put, get your hands in the crack and it, it ends up taking like all four of you to pry these heavy doors open. But you do. Um, as uh, Mit, the Mitt Flit sort of takes a step back, uh, looking sort of nervously, he actually like nervously like hides behind the statue as he, uh, as if he's expecting something awful to come out. But whenever you open those doors, it's just a dark passageway into the heart of the mountain itself. So wait, Mitt Flit isn't his name; it's what he is. It is what he is. He is a Mitt Flit. Oh, okay. They are Fey Gremlins that control arthropods. Alright. Alright. You step into the cool, darkened entryway <coughs> and oh find God. that it is. It leads downwards into the heart of the mountain itself, and quickly the air becomes quite chill and a bit moist. Well, you know what they say women and green skinned people first. <laughs> um, I laugh and say, I can't see in the dark. I can. I'll go lead. I can't see at all, even. I can see in the dark. I'll lead. Please kill me. Uh, indeed. Uh, everyone does have a torch, however. Um, I will... I will, uh, I will ask the people who can see, um... Uh, if it is safe to light a torch. And anything, like, anything in there? You don't, uh, as you continue downwards, um, you don't see anything. It's just a plain winding tunnel that leads downwards. But you do see a faint glowing light after you go down maybe... 100 200 feet it's just very faint um a sort of crackling ebbing light like that of a torch or some sort of fire that burns um however as the doorway opens up you can see um you are actually let me activate the scene freeze frame freeze frame bum 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 all right. Um, disco, disco, good, good. You can see that you have walked into a 
sort of strange chamber that seems to like crackle with magical energy. Um, pulsing orbs float in three of the four corners of the room. The orb in the southwest is made of brown earth and stone. The one in the northwest looks to be made of glass and is filled with a swirling cloud. The orb in the far corner holds a roaring flame, and opposite that, uh, uh, orbs, uh, the orb is shattered, um, and basically water flows down the passageway towards the northwest as you find yourself in this room. Well, Amiri, are you up for another swim? It's not, it's not a, it's not that deep. It's wading through water. However... As you stand there, um, you can see the elements seem to coalesce into a form. Um, that of a fiery rat. Um, and that is a go ahead and roll initiative as you, uh, uh, a cinder rat forms from the fiery orb. Yeah. This this one's supposed to teach you about the pos about concealed and persistent damage. Oh my god. Because the cinder rat is concealed by a smoky cloud. Oh, I guess I better put on some fight music or something. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, fight music, go. All right. Wait, from, there it is. Uh, a Mizzy, uh, a Miri and Skazzle. Yes. Hit that initiative. Hello, initiative. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a Cinder Rat that is attacked. I thought I did. Initiative. Oh, I don't know why I did it with athletics, but it's the same number. No, it's not. Oh, okay. There we go. Twenty-four. No. Wait. Yes, twenty-four. Oh boy. All right. Uh, it, at the top of the round, it goes to the incredible twenty-four. Of uh, Amiri. Cool. Um, I'm gonna get up here. So I'm gonna move. All right, I'm you. Gonna... Uh, as you get close oh. to the Cinder Rat, it is covered with disgusting, uh, sort of smoking fumes. I need you to make a. Uh, Fortitude save. Okay, on approach. Ah, uh, yep, as soon as you're within five feet of it. For fortitude save? Ah, uh, fortitude, yes. It is fetid fumes. Alright, you just manage, just manage to beat the thing. Cool. I am going to... Right. Uh, oh, yeah, I need to get clumsy back. So I'm clumsy. Uh, and as soon as you step in, you are also concealed by the smoke. Oh. Uh, that's not bad for the Cinderat. It can see through its smoke. It has smoke vision. But it is also concealed smoke by its vision. smoke as well. <laughs> it's more... It's worse if someone has to target you with, like, a heal. They have to roll to see if they they hit you. Uh, miss. Smoke vision! Unfortunately, a miss. Uh, also, he's concealed, so you have to roll a d20. Much like in the fight previously, That's when you massive. were dazzled. Oh, uh, but backwards, okay. Yep, he, 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 it's, the same, it's the same condition. When you were dazzled, they were concealed. He's concealed by his smoke, uh, fetid fumes. Okay. Gotcha. Um, but I don't have to roll that because I already missed. You right? already missed, yeah. Oh, I can administer first aid. I have that on my sheet. I thought I did. Okay. Yeah, administer first aid is different than treat wounds, though. 
Oh, okay, okay. Um, I will then, I suppose, take another attack. It's probably not going to hit, but as well. Uh, give me that d20 roll. All right, no. team. Critical miss. A critical miss. That doesn't mean anything, luckily. Okay. That's it for me. All right. Yeah. Punch this rat in the butt! All right. As soon as you move there, I need you to make a fortitude save. All right. Uh, you are sickened by the uh, fetid fumes. Yeah. Because uh, it is flat-footed now, right? Uh, yes. Yes. Alright, then I'm going to... Oh, wait. Uh, okay. Number two is to activate my tiger stance. And then we strike! Oh, uh, Yay! I would say, make a... Make a... Uh, make a d20, because he's concealed. Oh, right. All right, you're good. So uh, an 18 definitely, oh, okay. an 18 hits. Okay, for five damage. All right. That's pretty Try good damage. Try punch this rat in the ass. Oh no! Whoops, that that hurts me. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to do that. He takes the five points of damage. All right. Keeps. This seems to be made of sturdier stuff than those centipedes, though. Five damage is not bad but it's uh it's not going to take it down in a single hit like a lot of the other stuff guys it didn't die oh yeah it would help if i actually hit begin encounter all right uh, anything else from sajan nope that would be my third right there it'll go to skazzle yeah it's skazzle punch oh. him in the dick is it classic you ever, right you ever there, punch yeah. the giant rat in the dick Now's your chance. That that's a classic maneuver. I mean, shit. I've been involved in hunting before. Oh, uh, trying to do something other than just over an attack, but yeah, fuck it. Move. Missed. Miss. You can't believe it. Remember, you gotta roll a d20 before you hit it, because he's concealed by right. smoke. Also, I need you to make a fortitude save whenever you move within five feet of him. All right, you're good. You're fine. <laughs> Holy shit, you're fine. Yeah. I'm, I'm used to this kind of shit. I mean, shit. Have you seen the apartments? Unfortunately, the City. your dog slicer does not manage to slice the dog. Well, I got one more fucking attack. Wait, I gotta roll the 20 first. That's true. It's possible. Up, oh, you just unfortunately swing and miss because uh, this fetid smoke in your eyes and it's sort of all around you. Uh, it's like trying to hit the air as you just the dog slicer slams into the ground. Concealed is a pretty powerful condition to have. Yeah, apparently. And you can gain that too by using hiding and stuff. Fucking rats! All right, but this is the first actual vaguely, I would it's not serious, but not pushover encounter basically. Cragtooth. If that's it for Scrazzle, it's gonna go to Cragtooth. Hey, fuck this rat! All right, as soon as you I move guess I'll within do a fortitude, a fortitude save. Ah, I I managed to just pass it. I'll roll a d20 because I'm going to try to strike it. All right, good enough. Woo! And I'm going to um, do a uh, spell strike. I'm going to add my gouging claw into it. But I'm going to roll to hit first. Yeah. Well, even with the circumstance, that misses. It's unfortunate. Wow, we just suck against this guy. This rat's going to kill us all. Squeak, squeak, motherfucker. I'm gonna beat your ass. I bend over and assume the position. <laughs> squeak, squeak, motherfucker. It's really good. <laughs> Coming for that ass. 
I, I gotta get out of here in 22 minutes. Hey, no, don't. Too bad. I do. Well, I got. We're make... gonna kill your character. That's fine. All right. All right. Uh, unfortunately, that's a miss. Uh, you. S uh, that was your move and two actions for the spell strike. Yep. So. All right. It's gonna go to the Cinder Rat. Uh, the Cinder Rat. The Cinder Rat's gonna try to tumble through Scazzle. No tumble. Uh, ooh, that is a failure. It does not manage to tumble through uh, as it's Yay. trying to, to get out from between them. Uh, you think a little rough and tumble? It is going to make a. Uh, it's gonna make a. Jaws attack against. In fact, it'll make a Jaws attack against Scazzle too. Sure, why not? Because since he failed to get yeah, past you. you. Double check. It's gonna nibble on you. All right, it is a twenty-four or twenty-five. Against, uh, uh, Yeah, that will hit. Alright, let me double check here. You take 11 points of piercing <laughs> damage. Um, Ouch. and you also have 1d4 persistent fire damage. <laughs> Um, and it is Yo, going to <laughs> have fun. Uh, Yo, that's sick. It is that's going to awesome. try to tumble through a Miri. Decided to be almost oh, wait, dead. That is the wrong, that's the wrong roll. Um, it's going to try to tumble through a Miri, not using a Miri's acrobatics check. Ooh, wow. Does not manage to tumble through a Miri either. That's two real low rolls for it trying to tumble past people. Uh, it goes to Amiri. Okay. Do I have to make the fortitude check again? Because mm, I'm... No, you already passed it. Okay. I'm gonna hit. With... Uh, but you, you do have to keep making the concealed yeah, that's d20 fine. check. Yeah, because it, it just is concealed by smoke. Can I actually hear? I will recall knowledge. And Connor knows that this is seemingly like exuding from its body. Is there any way to stop that smoke screen? Uh, you can make a recall knowledge arcana or nature. I will do nature. Mm, not that you know of. Uh, you don't think that you can put out the uh, fumes it seems uh, biological. Yes. Okay. I will attack it. But that is good to get in the habit of using recall knowledge because it's such a useful thing to do. So that's a miss. Uh, it's unfortunately a miss, even with the flat footed. And another miss. So that's me. My god. This I mean, I'm not. I haven't been raging this whole game. This so. damn rat! It's. I mean, you can. You should probably be raging since there's not a uh, like a limit. So. Yeah, I, I think you I also got all, like that cool stride mood. I have what? Like that cool like stride and hit move. You mean sudden charge? No, there was one I saw that was really cool. There, there's yeah, there's anyway. like sudden charge is pretty cool. But Sajan, this damn oh, rat. Oh. Uh, that is the same, but remember the D20 beforehand. There you go. It's still, right. good. still good. Four damage. It's pretty good damage. It's not like super wildly tanky. I, w I wish that it automatically did the D20 roll for concealed when attacked. So. The second one fails. Unfortunately, that's a miss. One more. So, would I, so, even though I failed, I'm still using the you, third. Yes, yep, yep, because you still use the attack, you just you just whiff it. Damn. Alright. Anything else from Sajan? 
No, that was all three of my actions. Scazzle. did not tear the rat apart. Now, it's time to learn about periodic damage. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, you currently have a periodic damage effect on you. It will, uh, go off at the end of your turn, and then you make, you, whenever it goes off, you automatically make a saving throw against, uh, the periodic damage. A saving throw against periodic damage is a flat throw, a DC 15 flat throw, so you roll a D, a D20, Plane, you have to hit a 15 or higher to end it. Generally, periodic damage is balanced around being on for one or two turns because you still have to hit, like I said, you have to hit a 15 or higher. You can use an action to try to put your the fire out on you before the end of your turn so you don't take damage. And if you do something particularly like apt for putting yourself out, then it lowers the DC to 10. Or if you do something like it's really, freaking... really apt, it'll just end it, basically. Um, so I, I can't avoid the damage if I do enough, basically, though, right? If, if you make the save before the end of your turn, you will avoid the damage. Okay, that's neat. So, like I said, it, it just you can, you can automatically do a save by spending an action. You can just try straight up. Nice. If you do okay. something that is, like I said, particularly apt, in the case of particularly, it's obviously they made this a fire rat with a room with water in it. So if you do something apt, like rushing to the water and, spl and then getting the water and splashing it all over you and spending an action to splash water all over you, it's a DC 10 to put it out. If you go to, go to the water and literally drop prone and roll around in it, it will automatically pull it out, but obviously you've gone, you've dropped yourself prone to get into it. So you've done a whole bunch to get it off, basically. That's the idea okay. of periodic saves. Okay. Uh, where's the water in this room? Uh, it's this, uh, this part right here. All this water rushing oh, okay. in. Yeah, this is all water that's rushing into the room. Okay. Or pulled uh, at the edge of the room. I will... Yeah, I'll, I'll go to the water and try to extinguish the fire. Okay, so it's uh, just a move action to get there. I won't go prone, but... Uh, yeah, Cinderat yeah. does not have any attacks of opportunity. So, you go there, and since you're trying to splash water up on you, uh, you can make a flat uh, saving throw. A flat saving throw is always just a straight d20. Um, in this case, because you're doing something prone, it is a dc10 instead of a dc15. No, I was Oh, I'm sorry. Was it prone the whole time? Oh no no no. To... no no no! Oh, yeah. If you didn't, uh, if you if you dropped yourself prone, it would be an automatic success. Um, since you didn't yeah, drop okay. yourself prone, you're just splashing water on yourself. It's just a DC ten, which you pass, so yeah, that so. removes that effect. All right, and I'll spend my third action to use a potion. Oh, another one. Hey, hey that's much that's good. One. That, but that's really good. but the whole point of this fight is like here's periodic damage. Gotcha. Yeah, actually, that was a pretty good use of my turn right there. Not gonna lie. Yeah, because because like that's what I like the most about this system. A so D four, a D four of periodic turn is what A D four of periodic damage will really add up. You know. Also, at the start of that turn, I had four HP left. So. Yeah, yeah. You know that D four could have killed me. All right, it'll go. Wait, didn't we just heal you? Yeah, he has very little yeah. points. He, he's and not he's not a burly boy, you know? Yeah, I'm a support class, bro. Yeah, I know. It'll go to Crag Tooth. Alright. Uh, I'm going... Since I did that the previous turn, do I have to hit with the... If you did what? If you spell struck art... last turn? or Yeah. Can I um, enter my Arcane Cascade? Do I have to hit? It just says to cast a spell or make a spell strike. I didn't hit, so I can assume that I can enter a cascade now, yeah? It says my most recent action. That's what it was, right? I, I think you can. Yeah, because it says you, you used your most recent action to cast a spell or make a spell strike. Uh, I'm pretty sure so you, now I can you enter. cast a spell strike. Okay. 
So I'll enter Arcane Cascade. Um, it was, and I used the Gouging Claw, and it was slashing. And then uh, I'm going to try to strike. I'm just going to do a normal strike for now. Because I'd rather have two strikes, uh, potentially. 26 to hit. Uh, that'll hit. For 15 damage. Holy shit. Oh, and for, remember the d20. Oh, Because he's concealed. Right. Yep. All Sorry. right. Still good. Oh, thank God. <laughs> he's still alive? He is still alive. I'm going to try to attack again. Roll eight. All right. He's still good. Plus two to hit. Oof. Miss. Um, unfortunately, not a hit. All right. That's my turn. All right. Uh, it will go to Cinder Rat, who is going to make a bite against, I guess, Amiri. Okay. Uh, I falls off. That is going to be a 20 versus armor class against Amiri. That will hit. For 11 points of uh, damage. Oof. Damn. 11 points of fire damage and a persistent D4 fire damage. I'm at six health. It is going fine. to turn and attack Sajan. Uh, I'll tell if I actually hit the right fucking rat in Atlanta. It's on, Nave. Did he uh, say the right rat? All right, Are there more rat? On the bright side. It's only got an eight against you, Sajan. Get fucked, rat. Uh, it now that it doesn't have to tumble through is going to. Hmm. Speeds. Uh, w move up to Scrazzle. Um, that is it for its turn as it goes to Amiri. Get the fuck away from me, you little bastard. You're currently burning, Amiri. Yes. It burns when you pee. So it's just a flat 1d4? Uh... For, oh yeah, whenever you when at the end of your turn, it'll be a flat D4, and you'll immediately get to make the save at the end. You'll uh, you automatically save at the end any time you take damage from periodic damage. Well, okay. you you get to make a saving throw. Can I move through the Maguses? Uh, yeah, you can move through your ally. Okay, so I'm gonna come up over here, and I will jump in the water. Okay. Uh, so you're attempting to put yourself out. Go ahead and make a DC 10 flat roll. Oh, no, I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. I heard D10 flat roll. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. DC, just a, it's just a, a D, D20. D20? Yep, flat D20. All right, you're good. You extinguish the fire on yourself uh, by sp uh, spending an action to splash water all over yourself. That was two actions. Now, I left his presence and then went back into it. Do I have to make the fortitude save again? Uh, I don't believe so. I believe uh, you are... Oh. Yeah, actually. Any any creature that starts... No, that's fine. That makes sense to me. It uh, comes within five room. feet or starts its turn within five feet. Oof. So I got an 8. Alright. Uh, luckily, there's not a critical failure for that. You just are sickened one, basically. And even even though, and it's only, uh, you know, sickened while you're in it, so you don't have to worry about I, it I, remaining. Uh, so currently you're unsickened as soon as you're out of it. Okay. Uh, so can I still attack? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, bastard sword. Uh, is it? Is, but it is a. Uh, oh, that's yeah. a miss. But it would still be a straight d20 to see if you uh hit, because he's still concealed. Yep, that's fine. But it is a miss. 
All right, that's me. Goes to Sajan. Right. Punch him in the balls. All right, I do got to be getting up though. Punch his little rat right. balls. So I'm going to run up to here. All right, that'll be a four to two save. To... Right. Uh... Eleven. Right. You are sickened. Okay. Uh. What does it even do right now? Minus one to your hit rolls. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, so I am going to actually do uh, a shove attack. That's a nine. So then we do the actual shove. Oh, whoops. Oh, come on. It was just about to cast it before. There we go. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. All right. But... You reach forward and push him uh, hard into the... Into the water? Uh, into the water. As it begins yes. flailing around wildly. And I follow it in. All right, and then I will use my second attack. That's your Which three actions. Fall? No. You, you moved, you shoved, you moved again. That's your three no, actions. No, no, I, I, I got a success. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, I can stride after it. Uh, you did indeed get a critical success, so you do get to stride after it. If you had only got a success, oh, okay. you would not have been able to. Oh, well, that uh, says you can stride, after, stride it. after it. Oh, it does say that, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do to him earlier. Well, critical success, it, it's just 10 feet away instead yeah. of 5. They both allow oh, you okay. to follow. Oh, cool. So path. you can shove and move with it. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. cool. You can cool, shove cool, and cool. follow. Oh, wait, all right. uh, I gotta go though. All right, all right. So that's, uh, okay, so yeah. that is a hit. Sorry, yeah. and there's the d20, and I all do right. another four. Minus four. All right. Uh, still I was taking. That pushing it in the water did something. Uh, it it'll give it'll have a circumstance penalty to its rolls. Okay. All right. My turn. Goes to Scrazzle. Right. Skazzle Brizix. Is he in the water right now? He is currently in yes. the water. Okay. Um maybe I won't move then. Um No I will. I'll move up and make him flat footed. Alright. Um does flat footed apply to grapple checks too? Uh uh, it's all no because it's only it's this armor class and if uh, grapple is against its athletics. Athletics, DC. okay, that makes sense. Um, if I try to grapple it and push it under the water, would that be one action or two. Uh, uh like, it would be an action to grapple it and an action to basically move it. I can do that. I'll, um, yeah, I'll try that. I imagine it's athletics is about comparable to mine, so. It's not, it doesn't have great athletics. Yeah, neither do I. <laughs> it's, got, it's got good acrobatics, but not great athletics. Let's try it. All right, uh, you do manage to grab it. Oh, right. Oh, wait, hang on. Do I need a d20 first because of the, um, because he's, um, uh, yet te concealed? Yep, technically, yep, because that is a strike. But good, Five. good enough. Barely. Hey. It's close, but good enough. Barely. Square little fucker. All right, now I'm going to use another action to try and put it under the water. Try to extinguish this little fucker. <laughs> Just try to fucking drown it. All right. Uh, you, well, it's his fucking get, fire get the rat. pillow and smother it. You dunk it underwater. Uh, go ahead and roll a d8 for me. You burned your hands. Right. Uh, it takes six points of damage from being dunked underwater and sort of drowns. It sort of desperately tries to get away. As it'll go to Cragtooth. Stuck it, you bitch. Man, this rat is yeah. tough. 
but also just Jesus, I still feel bad. Do I need to do a fortitude save? Uh, because he. Yeah. In fact, Scrazzle should have done one too, but. Okay. Yeah. Uh, All right. Uh, you are sickened. Eighteen with a second. Uh, yep. Four to eighteen is a fail. It's a DC twenty-two. Oh Damn, shit! I must, have, I must have passed it last time. Then okay. Uh, well, I'm looking at this dude. I'm gonna try to strike him. He's grappled. He is grappled, so he is flat-footed. Well, he's our, he's surrounded by so many. Oh, I didn't mean to put flat-footed on him. I meant to put flat-footed on him. Stop! No, oh wait. Reach a twenty. That's 10 damage. 10 points of damage. Is he still oh, alive? He's still alive. You gotta roll the, the d20 for his whatever. Oh, no, I didn't hit him. Not a hit that time. All right, whoops. Then I'm gonna try to strike him again. Let's do another d20. That's an 18. This time with a plus one. Still roll good for me, baby. A 17 misses? A 17 misses. Damn. That concealed is fucking. Tinderat. It's that concealed effect, man. I'm telling you. There you go. Hit well, the right what button. is this AC where a 17 misses after he's um, he's flat footed? I know he's a fucking rat. I mean, it's fucking up. Uh, it's close enough. You know what? Uh, you that's good enough to kill him. It's <laughs> close like, enough. This is going on that on it. There we go. Uh, that'll be enough to finish him off. I had one HP. <laughs> he only had one hit point. Uh, that is enough to send the Cinderat back from whence it came, the elemental plane of fire, as it uh, sort of dissipates and turns to steam in the water, um, as you have managed to defeat it. All right. I don't feel like I defeated it. There you go. Okay. All right, the room the room still glows faintly uh, with energy from the floating orbs. Uh, the water continues running, rushing from the opening. As you can see clearly, there is an opening to a deeper part of the catacombs slash cavern. Um, it looks like this at one time seemed to be some sort of perhaps tomb or shrine. But something has dug in or burst in through this corner and connected what appears to be some sort of cave system. Uh, the question is, do we want to end it here or not? I mean, it's up to you all. I mean, it's already nine o'clock. Or so do, do we want to do we want to see if anybody else wants to take the fourth slot? Who, I mean, who else is on? Uh, we can bother, uh, oh, Nick's, Nick's, looks like Nick is here on. I mean, like I said, I just, it, oh. it's already 9 o'clock. Mike's so. on, yeah. Mike's on. Uh, but yeah, it's up to you. Fine, stop it for now. Up to you, alright. And it's really... we will end it right there. You do know that down here leads... To the depths of a drow, some sort of drow incursion or drow raiding party having broken forth. And what travels with those drow and what they want is unknown. But you'll have to find out if we ever actually play a Pathfinder ever again. You know, you know how it is because, you know, we try, I, we try to play and no, it's, no one's ever around to play. Fuckers. You, you sound upset. And no one's ever fucking around to play. I say, hey, I'm good to play Pathfinder. Try it out. Teach people how to play it so we can all learn together. No one's fucking around to play. Say it's gonna. No, this is like the third time I've played. Say, hey, we can do it on a Friday. We can do it on a Monday. I'm fine with either or. No one's around to fucking play. We can do whatever fucking goddamn day you want. But do figure you it out. You just gotta fucking want it. You gotta fucking show. You gotta be here. You gotta show up. I'm, I'm sorry, mom. Fucking gotta fucking play. Yeah, you better play. be fucking sorry. But yeah, we'll figure it out yeah, next no, no. time. If we ever play again. 